What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert. It's Baldur's Gate Arc 4, Episode 35. Finally going back to Baldur's Gate. Ooh, or are we? Yeah, you never know. know. Let's not. Let's not <laughs> get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Just saying, there are options. We do have a boat. We do. So you know, other port towns we can sail to. If we want to go back out the sea. We got a pirate boat too. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got I options. Vote. I vote we could just go to Brent Shender. <laughs> I'd like to uh, take my winters as far north as possible. <laughs> I heard there's good elk there. <laughs> oh, happy Thursday, everybody. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Few people in that D&D &D directory weekend. tonight, isn't there? Are we? Uh, oh, yeah. We should be in the top row of Twitch, shouldn't we? I didn't. Uh... Yeah, we're probably number one, I think. I mean, yeah. obviously, it's due to us, I mean, no doubt. Yes. Yeah, I think everyone's <laughs> in the Twitch directory watching our show right now. Where else would they be? Where, you know, where, what else would you possibly watch? Yep, yep. What's it? Uh, two, you know, holding their own out of that 214K. <laughs> Good God. That's a beast, dude. It's Tony an absolute goes, like, 214 beast. 214k and then us. <laughs> That's pretty much I, it, actually. Yeah. I, I, I love uh, that this shit is the size of like small cable channels now, live streaming. It's just it's incredible, man. <laughs> it's great. It's good. Good time. Anybody got big announcements uh, for the weekend? I don't think so. I mean, you guys got E20 deathmatch coming, right? We have E20 deathmatch on Sunday, but it felt gratuitous to keep saying it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> on Sunday, there's going to be a new episode of E20 deathmatch in which you'll be able to find out who's on the show tomorrow when they announce it. Hey, you know what? I'll this tell you surprise. tonight. You want, you want oh. to know tonight? Oh, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Butterfly. The drops. Yeah. Timotheus the Great. Timotheus. on there. That's bullshit, man. He wasn't even on my show this week, and he's on yours. It's a bunch yeah, of crap, the... man. Hey, listen, man. He, he reached out you want to beef? me. You want he beef? reached out to me and said, I don't want to play with Robert. I want to play with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wanted it short that's, and sweet. That's okay. Oh. He's, go, he's going against uh, another uh, old, old old pal of ours. His dad got game. Oh, <laughs> shit. We'll oh, see if he actually my has God. a DVD game. Is his dad never, second time? Or did he just... Never, he's never played. I had to yeah. teach him. Oh, I, mean, I thought you... <laughs> so, you, if he's bad, it's the teacher's fault. <laughs> oh, that'll be one fun. one-on-one -on -one session for a while. <laughs> Good right. shit. Good shit. I like it. Early announcements. You heard it here first, folks. <sighs> Nothing crazy happening on the channel. We're clear, uh, clear. We're clear of commission D and D for a couple of weeks because they're tied up with fun personal stuff and out and about. So it'll be a couple of weeks before we pick up with Ravenloft. But we'll have announcements for next weekend because it's Halloween weekend. So there will be some Ooh. cool, spoopy programming going on. So look for an announcement Ooh. for us coming soon for what we're going to be doing on sunday which will be super cool i'm excited uh, for halloween uh, for once uh, that was my creepy laugh sorry <laughs> i did try didn't you trying, trying to be quiet so you could still talk but like they hear it in the background you know it's ambience <laughs> that's all i got uh, i love it better than guest on <laughs> picking up where we left off last week with the party finally ending the saga in the deep sea dispensing of this long long lost secret of an alien at the bottom of the ocean and defeating them in epic style with help from their friend inside the actual fey wild we pick back up on that wonderful boat in a bottle sailing back to Baldur's Gate finally
The sun is out and shining for the first time now in days that you've got to experience. No more cold, soaked skin at the bottom of the ocean. Just that ringing in your ears out. Still kicking some water in and out. It has been a long, arduous trek to right the wrongs that you first set out of. But it feels good to once again be setting back towards the city with a whole new disposition on life. And knowing that there's nothing left to open behind you from your experience at Port de Pair. And now that new budding St. Asher's Island in the distance that Josiah has so aptly named. Yet see, for one, St. James is very happy to finally be out of the water as he's been in your hair in his own personal domain for a while. I imagine that little rat is sunning somewhere, Mm -hmm. enjoying himself on the deck. What is everybody doing on the sail back? Well, I can tell you, uh, Weiss, not talking to anyone is probably on the deck. Um, Probably towards the front of the boat, just kind of like looking out at the horizon. Um, You you see him for his first time. He he, he has his hood pulled back uh, and you see this kind of like long kind of slick back, like light brown hair. It's like a tussled bit of, you know, red in it. and he's he's probably just sitting sitting arms leaning against the edge of the boat just kind of staring off into the horizon occasionally you'll see him kind of close his eyes and glance up and for as much pain and and frustration and mystery surrounding him Every once in a while, you just see that 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 glimpse of him just appreciating the warmth of the sun on his face and the wind, and he's just kind of there. Balloon is also up here at the front of the boat, doing uh, squats with a a very heavy sandbag. He's doing a lot of a. Uh, just, just a lot of exercise, a lot of, a lot of training. But uh, as he's squatting, he, he's looking over at Waith, and even though Waith's not talking to anybody, Alun's going to be talking to him. Because <laughs> it, 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 there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of shenanigans that happened down there. A lot of, a uh, lot of fighting, a lot of death, a lot of. Uh, oh, things got a little, little crazy there. You know, the, you, you, uh, you did some stuff down there, and it was. Uh, I thought you were going to die, but you didn't die. And it was, uh, it was, it was insane. Yes, uh, well, uh, strong silent type. That is okay. That is what they say about me as well. <laughs> as I continue to do squats, yes, uh, yes, I am, uh, am a bit of a, I am also what you would call uh, edgy. So you and I will, we will fit, we will fit in together just right. <laughs> as I do you just squat. <laughs> do you talk this much all the time? Yes, well, well, well you know. Um, uh, this is a yes. Yes. Look, uh, Taylor and right? It, yes, I don't, uh, yeah. I, who told you? Well, I, they said it earlier. Hey, though, you have very good eaters. Right. Not as good uh, as mine, I have very good ears. You have good, very good ears, I have very good ears. Yeah, no, I saw, um, look, uh, Appreciate you doing your thing, but I kind of... You could shut up. That'd be great. Yes, uh, no problem. I, I understand. You want to uh, you want to just uh, stare off at the at the sea and try not to vomit? I, I get it. I understand. I uh, I also sometimes get seasick as he continues to squat. You know, uh, one time I uh, I raced a monkey to the top sail to the to the crow's nest, 
and she punched me in the face. It was uh, the strongest monkey that I have ever seen in my entire life. Have you ever seen a monkey punch someone? <laughs> uh, you would see Waith put his hood back up. <laughs> it just like completely <laughs> fuck you off. This, this is a cool hood. I, all I've got is a pirate coat, which seems so lame now. I should, uh, I wonder if we have a, a hood somewhere I could get. Oh my God, now you want a hood? <laughs> Let me ask you something. With the hood, are, are, do you have a? Are you a? Are you some sort of assassin? Do you have like a hidden blade somewhere? Do you want to see it? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and he pulls out like a regular dagger here, and he just tosses it at your feet. Go nuts! Cut yourself for all I care. Just shut the fuck up. Yes, uh, say, say no more. I will, uh, <laughs> I would, uh, commence with the shutting of the, of the fox. And, uh, you pick up the dagger and kind of flip it around. You know, uh, I, I had a dagger just like this growing up. It, uh, I used to cut, uh, cut fruit with it. And then I would, uh, throw it at people. Although that, that got me into a lot of problems. Uh, so I would not recommend throwing a dagger into a crowded group anymore. <laughs> Well, this is going on. <laughs> Jinrin's just kind of looked over. And he's enjoying every bit of the fact that a loon is just over there completely fucking you the whole time. I'm going to get my old fishing pole out. I haven't done that in a long time. And I'm enjoying the wind and the new guy getting his shit roughed out. Enjoying the fact that Aloon is actually doing calisthenics after finally finding his champions of the sea and defeating them. Happy that there's still a group. The only thing that could possibly make this better it's got anything left to drink, but that's long gone. Toss that out under the sea. Just enjoys the ocean for a bit. Staring around. A little bit of smile on his face actually drops his star form. Just tosses that rod and reel out. See what he can catch. Maybe he'll be as lucky as again as he was in Baldur's Gate or on the ship the first time. But most of all, he's looking forward to eating a meal above the ocean. Been thinking about that for a long time. It's weird eating everything that's waterlogged. Mm. Sensations of crispy fish. Cooking oil and coffee that's not out of that bowl of some creature under the sea. <laughs> Look for the dimple. <laughs> Gitsy's gonna clop up right behind you. What are you fishing for? Anything. <laughs> What, what did you put as bait on the end of it? Oh, we didn't have a whole lot. I, uh, I won't lie. I've kept this little small pouch of shark guts. Oh. Since you guys made short order of them. Figure if we ever got topside. Something might like to, uh, you know. Pay those big predators back. Get a piece out of them. I don't know. Probably, but that might attract something that bites back. Oh. Well, at this point, Gitsy, I'll be honest. Oh. Whatever's biting back. Yes. I've seen worse. Well, so far. Let's not judge anything. The ocean is a vast place. We found one evil, one of probably many. 
Well, I don't know if you can call a lot of the sea creatures evil. They're just merely trying to survive. But in this case, you might find something a little fiercer if we're not cautious. Well, good news is, if they're that fierce, they're just going to take this old rod and reel. <laughs> I ain't find it. <laughs> There's more where that came from. You know, I hear if you also sing, it'll lull them closer. It's very soothing. <sighs> I guess I need to work on that now that we're back above surface again. It can help, but you don't have to, though. I've been told my voice is one that scares the fishes away instead, so I've been told to stay away. <laughs> well, I've had plenty of open mics. I know the feeling. But most of the time when I enter any place like that, I'm busy eating instead of singing. I know my priorities. This is true. You've had a lot of steps. You've broken a lot of your own rules. And I'm overdue. Those rules will be remedied, trust me. Mm. I just hope we have enough coin to feed my stomach. I don't think we got enough coin. Well, we're already in a little trouble. What's a little bit more? This is true. <laughs> I'm starting oh. to write things down, though. What, like how much I've been eating? No, not how much you've been eating. Oh, that would be a very long list, unfortunately. <laughs> Something oh. that I'd prefer to keep very hidden and unaware oh. of. <laughs> Don't worry. Whatever grocery list that we put together when we get back to Baldur's Gate is going to be shocking for everyone. Ugh. I think we're all going to overdo it. You That's thought about, true. like, I don't know, it's like the texture that I miss the most. Bread. Oh. Bread. Like when you break a loaf for the first time and there's that crack at the bottom of uh. it. Oh, you can't get that. You can't get that underwater. We need to go back. To, you remember the, the, the girl that Asher had the crush on? Oh. Remember her, the, the baker? Yes. What yes. was her name? I God. don't remember. I am terrible with names. I don't either. But uh, if we could find that, they had the best loaves there. That would be fantastic if we could go back to that. Uh, I God. Can't get item. If he was here right now, I would give him so much shit. He, he, I don't even know if it's possible for him to turn any redder. I wonder. Whatever triggered that wisdom roll last time to try to enter the fake, can I try to like get these gonna close her eyes and click her heels together to see if she can visualize where he, where he is so so she can ask about the girl's name? <laughs> it may not work, but she's like closing her eyes, like trying to picture that fall scene again. Hey, I've set many a nights three, four, five years old waiting for animals to talk at midnight on Christmas. <laughs> I'm, I'm all about this trying to will. Everyone's tried to pull at least a fork or a spoon over every once in a while, you know? Yeah. Hey, go ahead, give me a wisdom saving throw. It's not gonna be great, but we can try. I've not been rolling well lately. Damn. Uh. Uh. And you, you kind of peek your eye open. You. You don't see the Fey, but you can roll a history check. Okay. It's a negative one. An 11. God. One better. It's slowly getting up there. We both just can't think of it. I'll roll a history check too if I have to go look, look for, like, through my notes or if I have to actually ask Adam. <laughs> don't you say a word. This is our moment on the material plane, Where damn it. <laughs> Think, 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 think. Come on. Oh. No, I can't. Just can't do it. Damn it. Uh, Ooh, okay, so here's the deal. Mm -hmm. we, we know at least where she works at. That's true. So and we'll just ask every girl there if she's talked to a, a red horned boy. I remember what she looks like. I, oh, I young don't. brunette. Come on. She was the youngest baker by generations. Well, I was looking at, like, the apron and the bread she was carrying. That uh, was more important to me. Priorities, I understand. But what we need to do is get those crusty loaves and then take them to the elf song and fill them up with soup. Yes. 
yes to all of that and then if we could get some crunchy crackers to sprinkle on top that would be fantastic a uh, little salt on them lots of salt yes gosh i mean all the salt we've had a lot of salt water but just just a good crunch with that would just be perfect with the uh, stew mm. stew i don't know why i want a liquid but yeah that sounds really good well, it's got to be hearty. We need potatoes in it, and carrots, and a lot of beef. Heck, you could put lamb in there. Just put all sorts of meat in there. I don't care. Potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah. Yes. Heck, if you've ever tried dipping french fries in your stew, it's also really good. It's Especially the, I'm the so nice hungry. crunchier one. It's so good. Just giving you, and you should. Even with a good stew, if you've got some nice cheese to melt on top of it, it helps. Oh my god, why? Can you believe that they don't have cheese under the sea? I know, it's just ridiculous. Do you think that would be something they'd at least try to import in? Maybe they're all lactose intolerant down there. Josiah! What? Riddle me this! <clears throat> why the f do they not have any cheese under the sea? No sea cows. That's just not true. Those are called manatees. <laughs> and you can milk them. It's in their armpits. Have you ever milked a manatee, Gitsy? Uh, my cousin has. <laughs> he has a manatee farm. Right. They're actually much more like goats because they help maintain all the seaweed. Right. Not buying it. I want to visit your manatee farm. It's adorable. They're really sweet creatures, and they've got big lips. Now, the lips kind of separate more like a cat. It looks strange if you come up to it, but they really do nibble on your hand, and it's quite adorable. <laughs> uh, I would like to spend the afternoon at your cousin's manatee farm. It's cute. You can even milk them if you'd like, but it, you kind of have to give them like a hug and reach around into the armpit, and that's how you do it. Gitsy, if you're <sighs> milking it by giving it a reach around, it's not milk. No, it's like a hug from behind. That's how you do that. Yeah, that's a reach around. That's not milk. <sighs> Shame on you. You can't take- You're the... not allowed at the manatee farm. <laughs> You can't take the filthy pirate out of the filthy pirate. The filthy is he in a filthy pirate? Has he been <sighs> one? I, I can only imagine none of these killed multiple legendary creatures. Just how bigger the story is gonna get. <sighs> Who's going to believe us? No one. Mm. Absolutely no one. Of course not. And it's probably best that way. <sighs> we got more coin than when we left. Uh, how much? I wasn't counting. Also, I didn't carry much of it, so. <laughs> I was down to what could fit inside my hand. And we oh. have a lot more than that. So at least two handfuls. Okay, that's good. We could at least get a good meal and a nice bed for that. <laughs> We should have enough for a place. Like rent one? Yeah. That would be really nice. Perhaps one with a a nice patio. Please don't get one on the second story. I know everybody loves the view, but the steps are exhausting for me. I thought that's how you regulated your meals. How else? I mean... I love eating, but I could also just walk on the ground. Standing up and going upstairs takes a lot more effort. How high do you want your food bill? Let me ask you that. Well, I can tell you what. The first week or so doesn't matter because it's going to be atrocious. Well, just think long term. We'll make sure that we get first floor living for you. Young Bucks can... Go upstairs. 
Yes, that would be nice. I would appreciate uh, that. I, for one, will take the highest spot that we can get. I haven't smelled fresh air inside the city in a long time. Fair enough. You can be at the very top and everyone else is somewhere in the middle of it all. I Deal. imagine Aelune will sleep out in the street or something. I don't know. Oh, he's coming around. He'll probably spar all day. Think of that. It I'll get to go cool. to a gym. He's not really talking to me. He's getting acquainted with the new guy. <laughs> he's still over there doing squats. Lord. It's because he doesn't know what he's doing. Getting along. <laughs> At least they're friendly ish. Well. We get back. We gotta go by a blacksmith for both of you. You got goods waiting. Oh gosh. I even forgot about that much. Well, I did promise and I'm going to hold to it, so I'll do that much. Hopefully they held on to it. It's been a while since we've been back. It's not typical that they just indefinitely, but perhaps because she had a nice space and wasn't a traveling one, she she may have had some storage to hold it all. Did you pay a deposit? Well, you know, I can't remember that. Listen, this <laughs> noggin is only so big. And for the <laughs> most part, it's memories of food that I've enjoyed in my life. You need to start sharing these things with St. James so at least he can remember. Right, because that rat's brain is definitely bigger than mine. Look over to the rail and he's laid out. Just a little sun pot building up. Oh yeah, just sunbathing, <laughs> just just taking it all in over there. Yeah. Clear belly. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> right. Like he'll be useful. Though that is not a bad idea. I could use a nap in the sun. It's been a while since we've gotten these rays on our face. <laughs> I'm Goodness. just going to tie off my pole set to troll on the side. What do you, uh, what do you want to do, Josiah? What's the first thing you want to do when you get back on land? Not go on land? <laughs> I don't know. Gotta get my ship. Our ship. The world is our oyster. Talking about apartment living in Baldur's Gate, it's, ugh, it's my skin crawl. Nobody said we were going to be forced into an apartment. We have good money to rent an affordable townhouse. Right. You know how affordable much room townhouse. is in a townhouse? How much room is on the boat? Park it in the slip, pay the dock fees. Comings and goings of Baldur's Gate. Being able to get out of town on a whim if we need to. Full full time pirate. I don't know. It's you spend spend this much time on the water and getting back to it just feels comfortable. That's why that little thing that Asher built for us was so nice. I had this anywhere I wanted to go. Sit there and hear the water lapping up against the boat, ruffling of the sails and the wind. I mean, feel it. Ah, take it in, man. To be honest with you, anything is going to be better than still being in the water. But I agree. There's a sort of freedom to it. And I do love to fish. I, I just never thought about living on a boat before. Mainly because I wouldn't have enough money for a boat ever, so <laughs> kind of never thought about it. No, well, now we're all on it together. Maybe I'll work on a sea shanty. <laughs> you know what? I would love a good shanty. I've been writing stuff down. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What have you been writing? Uh, it's not done yet. 
But uh, we're Any getting there. No, nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I got, I got plans for this when I'm done. All right. I'll oh, look no. forward to it. Yeah, it's comes from the heart. Just needs, just needs a couple more bars. I always liked writing. I should never stop writing just because I can't carry a tune. Doesn't mean I should ever stop writing. Trust me, I've heard plenty of bards that can't carry a tune, but you know what? They still can try. Yeah, you know, that's that didn't work out so well for me. So, yeah, but you know what? You're not playing for your supper, You're playing for your friends. You put it that way, it's kind of even more terrifying. <laughs> oh, come on, Jim. I think, I think I'd rather have everybody really, really drunk. That doesn't mean your friends can't get really, really drunk. Counter point. You know, we're family. And if it makes you happy, oh. sing it from the rafters, man. Maybe I will. I take out my book and go sit down where I can keep an eye on the pole over here on this barrel. And still kind of hear the conversations of the folks around. Hey, wait. Yeah. You like to fish? I don't know. I think maybe. Well, you had to be on a boat to get here at some point in time, so I figured maybe you had some hobbies. You want to learn? It'll get me away from uh, Chatty Kitty over here, sure. Uh, you're just going to go to one Chatty Kitty, the other Chatty Kitty, so you'll get used to it. Right. Um, sure. Could use some food here anyway. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, we're we just had like a forty minute long conversation about texture. I don't know what they I don't know how bad it was where you were at, but it wasn't even very good where we were, so Yeah, they uh eat it. Wasn't great. Sure yeah, some, yeah, uh, some yeah. Fish would be fine. Probably, yeah, probably not a lot of not a lot of fun. Uh, bulls yeah. over there. I just got it set over to troll. I put some shark guts on the end of it. I don't know if it's gonna do any good, but you know, there's not a ton of provisions on a boat in a bottle. True. Well, uh, I guess I'll watch the pull then. Yeah, so you just take hold of it. You, you, you kind of sit there, but you know, it's... Eventually you get bored of the horizon, right? Yeah, just enjoying the uh, sun. Thinking. With your hood up. Oh, that was hopefully a visual clue. To have him stop talking, but he just kept going. No, no, you, you can't. He doesn't do visual cues. Doesn't really do uh, 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 auditory clues either. Uh, yeah, he kind of an idiot. Yeah, but you know, he chops things heads off. I mean, he's useful in a fight. I mean, I'll give him that. Yeah. Someone you want on your side. He's got a good coat. Decent yeah, fashion no, he, sense. He wants a hood. Which I don't. He was going on about it. He said he used to have a hat or something, and he's really happy about the hat and the coat. Now he wants a hood. Yeah, I, I, take it as flattery. He kicked some ass while you were there too. You're crazy son of a bitch. I 
guess you could say that. Ooh. You don't mind me asking, because it's going to be a long trip anyway. What'd you... What'd you do before you end up in the drink? That's what I've been, uh... Thinking about. You see, it's, um... It's kind of a blur. There's, uh... A lot about me I don't really remember. Kind of... Well, once... Once it started, things just started to blur and fade and shift and change and... I mean, I don't even know how long I was down there for, but I'm pretty sure it was a long time. Yeah. I know... A boat's familiar. Obviously. Pretty sure I was working security. Protecting something or someone or. Did, uh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna sound so stupid, but after everything we've been through in the ocean, I guess it kind of makes you a little blunt. Did you do any work for the guild? That's kind of how we ended up out in the spot, too. A guild. A guild. Back at Baldur's Gate, you know, the guild. I think so. Real scary group. Paid well. I don't know if I was on it. You can see he's frustrated, like he's you can see him actively trying to remember and recall details that just just are like just like past the tip of your tongue like you're yeah. trying to say remember a name you just you just can't find it but it's like right there we're we've had a little trouble remembering too you're not alone you're not alone on that front that's why I started doing this. And when those last bit of memories of what happened down there slip away either. I always used to think this was so stupid. I want to write it down when I can remember it. Didn't realize it. So easy to lose. Wish I'd started earlier. Look, I don't... I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know... what to expect when I get back. Who, if anyone, is waiting for me to get back. My involvement... I... I appreciate your help down there. I was... There was a lot of me that didn't want to leave that place. I saw. Pretty fucking crazy trying to ride that thing like a rodeo bull. When I get where you're coming from. just the sheer pain the screams the deprivation the memories the thoughts the the psychic screams the melding of a force you can't see or feel but is there and hours one by one there was 
a few of us at the start. Stay the, the prodigy! Then there was fewer. And fewer. So there was just me. And Andros. And he went first. For me. should have gone first. He was better than me. You know, he was... He was that optimism. I mean, no matter what they did, it's just... Think about it when we're topside. Waith, having some beers, laughing about it. It's disgusting. Or it was. So he didn't come back. That's not true. You set him free. A lot of things in life that we wish we could change. I have a literal list now. Put that down too. That's a bunch of shit. Somebody tells you no regrets. You're a fucking liar. But it also doesn't mean that I have to be tied to him for the rest of my life either get over it or I can revisit it when I want we lost a lot of people down there too we lost several brothers I'm sorry at this point it's just a pity contest right Can't think of it that way. Next time you get a beer, you think of Andros. I got plenty of memories. I think about my red devil brother, quirky guy. I had to know him. Doesn't make a lot of sense otherwise. kind of like having a little sibling don't know you miss them until they're not bugging you that kind of type I can understand that I haven't um I haven't really tried to uh well whatever it did to me I can still hear it feel it but I haven't manifested anything yet because there's a part of me that hopes whatever it did to me is gone and died when it died and there's another part of me that knows that's probably not likely. We killed that thing. And our buddy buried it. Whatever was left of it. Mountains of molten rock and ash.
powerful friend. And something else. He taught me to believe in myself. So I'll pass the good word on. Whatever's left inside you, that's yours to control now. I used to tell the little shit to be the crane all the time. Fuck does that mean? I used to be a fucking swindler, fortune teller, part-time astrologist. A dumb saying. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. But I don't even know what a fuck the crane a crane is. What is what is that? Well, I fixed that. He'd be more like the Phoenix. And he takes out his orrery and opens it up. Instead of that spectral crane bird coming out this time, just a small constellation of a radiant Phoenix flies out and around. Hmm. Fuck the crane. <laughs> be like the Phoenix. That might be it. Rise from the ashes. Spread your wings. Embrace the day. It's a new one. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I needed. Sorry, I'm trying to jot a few things down. All right. Mm. He just kind of looks down at his hand. Roll survival check. <laughs> Twenty-three. Fish on, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's that line just <laughs> starts tailing off. Oh, oh! I think oh, he, shit. oh shit! I think you got something big, man. Ooh. And he and he grabs on and, and and it's it's for someone who was unsure, it's like second nature. He just you just see him just instinctually and he's just rolling with it. Just laying out the the you know the right amount of a uh, 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 pressure on the rod, everything like you just naturally go into this, letting enough slack when you need to. Go ahead and roll another survival check with advantage. Fifteen. Fifteen. You're just battling this thing back and forth, but it doesn't take you very long. You pull in the biggest blackfin tuna that we've seen in some time. Oh, that's going to feed us for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab it already. Grab it already. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Streak check. Hey, squats, get over here and help. (laughs) (laughs) That is not not my name, and I have have one more set to go. I slip and I fall down. I'm over here just holding on to the the fin. Hey, dude, help us with the fucking fish. Fine, 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 fine. fine. He puts down the sandbag and rushes over to to grab it. Uh. Digs his metal claw into it. Onto the boat, onto the boat. on, on, On three. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Yeah. <laughs> Athletics check. Hey, Lude. With advantage. I already have advantage. I already hey. have advantage. <laughs> oh, boom, boom. All I do is throw 20s, bro. I fucking hate you. <laughs> I wake up and I shit 20s. <laughs> oh, my God. If that's not in your merch store. Oh, just this so side no. profile of you with the Fu Manchu. Oh. Than that. I wake up and shit D4s. 
You, you said it, Becca, not me. <laughs> what is this pathway we're on? <laughs> oh, Gitsy, look at this thing. Oh, good, you finally caught something. She kind of awakens from her small summer or sunny nap. What is it? Tuna, blackfin. Ooh, do you know how to prepare that one? I do know how to prepare pre 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 prepare this one. What? Sorry. Do you? Ah. No, no, it's okay. We can I'm... go down into the 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 thing. I forgot what what do they call it? Galley. Oh, the galley. galley. A kitchen. You know, it's a kitchen. It's a kitchen on a boat. I don't know why they need their own separate language for it. It's ridiculous. We could go down to the kitchen down below, and we could cup it up. You know, just chip, 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 and make something delicious. Some fresh. Yes. I wish we if we had other things we could make ceviche, but we can't. I don't know if there's any. Oh, I don't know what's kept on a boat and a bottle. Oh. If we had citrus fruit, oh my god! If we only had some citrus fruit. I mean, if I mean, anything would be a requirement as a food item, I would think it'd be a <sighs> citrus fruit. Have you checked? You said there's like some sort of magical boat. Maybe there's like magical food. I don't know. I'll go. I'll go check with you Hold if you'd on. like to come with me. I got an idea. Hmm. DC seventeen. As Jin begins concentrating, using a combination of good berry and his druid craft. We just need some limes. And you begin to see that plant sprout up over the top of the barrel that he was sitting on, concentrating the best that he can. Citrus, limes. And you begin to see small limes appearing on the branches out and around it. Ah! Ah! No, that's useful. He's just sitting there smiling. No, I want tequila. Oh, uh, that's another good drink choice. That's a great idea, but it's going to take a lot longer. Agave. Okay, okay, I don't have time for this. <laughs> uh, let's get it below, I guess. Get it all prepped up. I take the limes off. I'm just like, <laughs> check them in your open hands. I wish I could do that for shrimp. God, there's the shrimp tree when I need it. I'm sorry, did you say a shrimp tree? Yes. What, what is a shrimp tree? I just wish I that I could have a shrimp tree. I don't know what a shrimp tree is. Is it a tree of shrimp? Yeah, it would be yeah. a tree of yes. shrimp so I could pluck the shrimps and we could make ceviche, but it's, it's not going to happen. Here, it's cool. Let's not hate on what we don't have. We have fresh tuna. We can make ahi, and I have some pepper left. Because I'm not a heathen where I go. He takes out his grinder, sets it over See, like, the side. The people that bring like their own ranch dressing to places. Uh, <laughs> not ranch dressing, but he is partially a dirty hippie, so he carries a lot of a uh, lot of his things on him. Yeah. Okay. okay. He's, he's the dude that had the sriracha on the keychain before it was cool to have sriracha on a keychain for those people. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Loon. Uh, hey, uh, yes. You still got that dagger? Is you mean you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need that back to help cut up this tuna. Is it well? Okay. I mean, it's kind of rude. You gave it to me, and now you're asking for it back, and it's a whole thing. But you know what? You're new here. You don't know the rules. Here, here. You can. I will. I will give you this gift. Thanks. Didn't know I... He throws it down at your feet like you did to his. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. 
I, my kids did the same thing all the time. It's great. <laughs> For a second, you see Waith just like hold his hand out, but like not reach down. And then he like hesitates. And then he just like actually reaches down and, and grabs grabs the knife. And then just like tucks it away in like a front pocket. All right, who's going to help me carry this fish down? But you don't think you can carry it on your own? No. You want to try muscles? I can carry it on my own. Watch. I'm going to try to lift this fish. Go ahead. So. <laughs> uh, strength check to see how heavy is this fish. I mean, you rolled a 20 on the last time, so okay. I've always said that <laughs> that gives you an auto Fair success enough. on the next. So just throw this thing I, over your shoulder like it's quick crete. I, I use my metal claw like a like a fishmonger hook. Oh, I just hook into this fish. And that's <laughs> fucking gnarly. My shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. Right. All right. Guys. Fair enough. As you guys go heading down to prepare that fish, back inside the Feywild, ten years later. Oh my God. You and Vera arriving precisely on time. As you have once every year for the past 10 years inside the Fey Wild making your way back to the same golden grove, white tablecloth out and wrought iron furniture, tea and biscuits set, and your old friend Chikyo sitting across the table. Asher kind of walks up with Vera and Definitely look it looks a little little older, a little bit more mature, is kind of broadened out a little bit. Um and just kinda of like walks walks over. You know, Chikios, I, I I swear one of these times it's gonna be a different location. You're just gonna surprise me and you're gonna invite me and it's gonna be somewhere new. That 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 I ha but it's always here. I like things traditional. Well, I mean, as long as as long as you're not inviting Hister, because that 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 Dragonborn just talks and talks and talks my ear off, and usually I'm the one that does the talking. Yay! Well, he he he's a he's a nice old Dragonborn, I guess. He likes to teach people things. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> you you are not wrong. Well. Perspective that way. Chikios pulls out the old book and flips over to page 53. What have you been doing? I'm so curious. I didn't want to ask you the first bit because it would feel like there was some sort of pressure to do anything at all. But you've spent some time here in the Fey. Well, I mean, me and Vera have just, we've been adventuring, but it's different. You know, way back then, it was like, you know, there was like this pressure, you know, like I was supposed to do something. I was supposed to be someone. I was supposed to. And here I've just. I mean, we're just going at our own pace. I mean, I've met all kinds of amazing and incredible people and creatures. I I've learned new magic. Uh, I've seen I I beautiful and, and also some very scary and horrifying things. Uh, the face, you know, it's a broad spectrum here. Uh, Chikyo's little heads up would have been nice because there's some things that you should not go into. And, you know, uh, luckily, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quick on my feet and with mostly it was Vera. She kind of was like, you know, we, we got to go and, and we left. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, 
it's good to see you. It's it's good to it see is a, always a familiar, good to see you. friendly face. You you have tea, right? Of course I have tea. I always have and, tea. And I look down and there's already a little little bowl for Vera, just like already set with hot tea, just like ready, and I'm just like, you know what to do. She just goes and immediately starts lapping off the tea. Couple little biscuits laid out just for her. You know, I would say that you are scrying on me. But I know you're not that kind of person. You are going to do something different today. Oh. I have a surprise. Because we have. We've been doing the same thing for nine years. Time to go on an adventure of our own. Has it been that long? Fate time. It's not, uh... I remember. Time is differently here. It's yeah, not no, like I... nine years on the material plane. Nine years on the material plane, you feel achy. All of a sudden, you have arthritis. It's hard to get up in the morning. Yeah, Faye is different. Faye, you have a good time? It'll be 20 years. Look, Chikios, I, I see the cracks, okay? Just a little moisturizer, you'll be able to clear that up, okay? You don't have to be worried about it or conscious about it. I do not have any... No, no you, you would... It's he immediately <laughs> switches back into his Elvis form. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm fine. No, I am fine. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. No, look You're at great. me. I'm smooth, baby smooth. He holds out his hand. I'll say the same Drink joke the I said you the last baby six smooth. times. You're so dreamy. You're so dreamy, <sighs> Chikios. <laughs> as he kind of gives him some, a little bit of jazz as he sips his tea. Someday your horns will be as majestic as mine. Not today, but someday. Maybe another yeah, 40 maybe. years in the Fae. You know, I'm, I don't know if they're going to curl or if they're going to, like, spiral or if they're just going to, you know, stay this way. I, we'll see. We will see. After we finish the tea, I'm not telling you. This is a surprise. Well, I am the Red Devil of the Feywild, so. <laughs> you are the Red Devil of the Feywild. <laughs> Now, let me show you what I found. As he begins to open up a book of his own and pass it your way. Scene cuts back to the boat on the ocean. Josiah, they've been down there a long time. I just hope that when they come up, there's actual tuna left. I'm so hungry. I didn't realize I was this hungry. I mean, you can always go sneak in the kitchen to see if you can grab a little extra. No, but... I've been eating these extra limes because they're still good berries. And they hold me over, but it's kind of gross at this point. As you can see, he's got the whole lime in his mouth. Yeah. I mean, the good news is you won't get scurvy. It's still a good... I just tell myself it's still a good berry. <laughs> you know, when you spend a lot of time in the water, that shit will save your life. <laughs> just think of it as that. Soul food. Yeah. The appeal is really hard. I'm just crying. <laughs> oh, you're eating oh my god, you're eating the peel. No! It's, just it's eat still, the inside. Uh, it's still a good berry. You gotta eat the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna see him kind of recoil in horror <laughs> as images of the, the pithiness just shoot through the back of his mind all the way to his spine. That'll be a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I go grab the rail for a minute. I can't lose it. <laughs> it's still a good berry. I'm so good, baby. <coughs> mm. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that, you son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Every time he starts, I'm like, he's gonna get himself to that point again. <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, gotta back off the edge. 
<laughs> and uh. go full throw up. It'll <laughs> be all right if you <sighs> throw up on the deck. You know you have to swab it. I used to red craft and like <laughs> <laughs> it just blows. <laughs> Whatever fish guts and chunks are on the side, it just kind of like hits the rail, like a little bit goes out. Done. It's gonna, you're, 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 you're gonna turn this boat into a bachelor pad, aren't you? It's gonna, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like my first outhouse in Baldur's Gate. You're the one who's lived with pirates. A pirate it's... ship has gotta smell worse than a bachelor pad on the sea. It's like the same thing. Well, I guess unless you have enough Kayla's to get your shit in line. I mean, there's always Gissy's expectations. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good for us. <laughs> it's A! Is the, is the fish ready? And I lean down like I'm yelling through the actual, like, lattice. I can't see you. It's, I was not actually cooking it. I don't know actually how to prepare it. I thought you were doing that. I was down here looking for food. Oh God, Jen, they don't have anything ready. Oh, no. relax. Gee, I'm working on it. He's doing Whoa. stuff. Two points, new guy. <laughs> hey, we're not doing a point system here. Hey. Who told me that that's how you win D&D? &D? <laughs> <Really? laughs> Hold on. What is the secret point system? <laughs> Keep this up, Gitsy, and we're going to be having turtle soup real soon. <laughs> good guy. You're not the that's first one to enter this party, but you may be the next one. <laughs> Jen, if you if you want to go down, just send a loon up in case I need help with the rigging. <laughs> no one ever wants Gitsy to help with the rigging. You're downstairs working on the fish. It's roll it's roll a survival check because you've been rummaging barrels like a possum down here. Yes. <clears throat> we will <clears throat> absolutely do that. Hitting oh. trash cans. See what you can find. With, with the help of St. James. I rolled a oh. seven. I mean, come on. You got St. James with you. That's at least good for advantage. He's a rat. <laughs> No, yeah, he, he can suff out anything. <laughs> the food that rat's everything. on it. He's actually found six barrels. You just are ignoring him. Ignoring <laughs> <laughs> them himself. We have to go in order. We'll just, just like waving. <laughs> Make sure we don't miss any. We'll start with these barrels, and then we'll work our way up to the front. You have to wait your turn. He does have keen smell. Uh, yeah, got got advantage on this. Come on, buddy. See what you got, St. James. Whoa. Oh, he's a good smeller. Good smeller. Oh, much better. Oh, let's go. Let's just read like a Pokemon card. The rat uses keen smell. smell. It's very really <laughs> effective. <laughs> My question is, is what is a loon doing during all of this? Not using his nose. Because uh, he's got the best nose out of anybody. <laughs> I'm wrong. Probably, probably sitting there looking over your shoulder as you're cooking fish. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> mm. What are you looking for, Gizzy? What's the number one thing? If you were to find a barrel of something. Pineapples. I knew it Bananas. was going to be fruit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Pineapples stored in an old bourbon barrel. Let's oh, go. God, oh, God. Stronger on the outside, sweet and delicate on the inside. Oh. Exactly. Fuck, like that would be love. good. Mm. I'm sure whenever you and St. James find this barrel, you spend a good amount of time just by yourself slowly taking the top off and getting the first quarter. <laughs> you can share with the group whatever you want. Do I have to? No, I, I said whatever. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Let's uh, bring this over. Five or six barrels that are knocked over. And you've all of a sudden waved. You've heard all of a sudden the rummaging has stopped. Uh, Gitsy, are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> she just checks her own pulse for a second. Not yet. No. Well, and what'd you find? Well, it's something delicious. Would you like to ask what? Yeah, that, that, that's literally what I'm asking. Is okay. what'd you find? I found something absolutely delicious. Thank you for asking. And then she's oh going to kind of God. start carrying it past you. It's like everyone plays charades here or something. <laughs> and just be like, found some pineapples, Waith. They seem great. No, it's... I found something delicious. Ask me what it is, even I, any, and whatever. You know, are you are you just gonna stare, Aloon? You know you uh, you you seem to talk a lot. <laughs> he dies first. <laughs> <laughs> he lays his head down in the skillet. <laughs> I've uh, I've got like a, a plate or two already kind of like prepped and rolling and oh. like I, I can't tell if you're just sitting here because you're intrigued at what I'm doing or if you're wanting the first plate. Yes, uh, when they figure it out, they will let you know. <laughs> when I get down by the lattice again. Guys, I can't go downstairs. Until I got to, I'm in charge of the rigging right now. It, we can literally smell it up here. Oh, yeah. Almost done. Almost done. Uh, I think Gitsy's bringing up some pineapples. What? You found pineapples? Sort of. Well, she found something delicious. Ask her about it. Oh. Mm-hmm. What kind of what kind of barrel were they in? Oh, it's something delicious and drinkable. Oh, mm. he does a mini truffle shuffle. He's laying on the ground there. Nobody else can see. On the caddy shack. Trust me, this is going are, to be are, perfect is, with it. Is, is, is Jenrid is is up, like, up a level right now from us? Yes. Oh, well then, uh, Elune will lean over to Wait and he says, uh, uh, Whenever you uh, have a, a Jenrid's plate, I will, I will take it to him. Fuck. <laughs> All right, well, uh, here's, here's two, so why don't you... Take this to uh, to uh, Josiah, right? Josiah and uh, Jinrid. Yeah, or Jin. Yeah, Jin, yes, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It, uh, I will take a uh, yes. Oh, man, man, I'm... I'm, the I'm food and then I will come back for mine. Yeah, I got yours almost done. As as he walks away, he's gonna, he's gonna like, sneakily eat some of Jin's food. Not a, but like, not like, you know, if it's like, I don't know how it's portioned, but he's gonna like, eat some pieces out of it and then like, push it together to make it seem like it's still like a I went from like Canadian American portion size to like Michelin three star yeah. like I got it's yeah. the it's the three bite yeah oh yeah, man but, but... thank you Aloon oh it's, 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 it's no problem and he hands it to you he'll take he'll take Josiah's food to him as well oh this looks awesome Oh like, yeah! I haven't I haven't gotten the train yet, but it, it smells very good. Oh. But you should be rewarded for all of your hard work up here, so you don't to enjoy. Thanks, Saloon. Yes, uh, no problem, pal. <laughs> pal. I, I feel like that 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 ending just earns a deception check. Like, no problem, pal. <laughs> Just walks away. Like, I'm no so problem, pal. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I insight checked it. I'm. I'm I can say it. And uh, basically, it's like a very simple, like, like seared, like sesame pepper, like tuna, like m minimal ingredients. But you know, we found a little bit of honey. You know, a little bit. Like, it's just, it's just enough. You know. Oh my God, this is good. Here's a drink for you. She's going to set it down next to you. Don't spill it. Josiah, here's yours. Ah, oh, there you go. Awesome. What, 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 what is the, what's, what's the drink? Mmm, it's a nice bourbon with whiskey or with a bourbon with the uh, pineapple in it. <laughs> bourbon pineapple. 
you're going to oh. love it. It's got a nice flavor that will really complement it. I'm doing, I'm, I'm fishing bourbon pineapple together. This is amazing. Just like as if you were on a vacation, right? Mmm. Mmm. Seared too. Oh yeah, it's still tender. God, the texture of this is amazing. Thanks, Waith. Yeah, I got two more. Hey, Loon. Uh, yes, yes I'm, uh, yes, I'm coming. I got yours and I got Gitsy's. Come on. All right, I'll pour you a drink as well. Hey, Loon, did you want anything? Uh, yes, uh, none, none for me. I am, uh, I am uh, cutting back, trying to, uh, trying to shape up. Mm. You're telling me that after I made you a plate? No, 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 no. The food. I, I would eat the food. It's the, it's the whiskey. I don't want. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have, have to stay sharp. We're gonna have plenty of tuna because that was a big fish, and I still got some. So. We'll yes, give his serving. Yeah, I was wondering where the. I was like, it's like appetizer portion. I figured. Okay, yeah, we got worry, some more I, down I there. Will get you, I will get you some more when uh, when I go back down. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Hey, I'm I'm heading down there. Do you want anything, Alan? Uh, no, 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 it's okay. I will go. All right. Oh, no, Alan, if he's going down, I need you to stay up here on the rigging. Yes, but I, I was. Uh, I have to go eat. Oh, stop! He, he can bring your plate up to you if he's going down. I need someone to help me with the boat. It's okay, okay, fine. But don't don't eat my food like that last time. That was a dick move. That was a, like I barely even remember that. Yes, it's like uh, a yeah, world. Listen, I just I'm just saying it was it was. It had to be said. Why would I? We're having a good like, a good time I know up we're here. Having a good time. And, uh, you, listen, I just want I just want to say it. Are you holding a grudge? Like after we went all through all that? No, I'm just down. saying that I am very hungry and, it, and I, I would appreciate getting uh, getting to eat my full share. Okay. Gotcha. Sometimes you like to do pranks. I'm just telling you, today is not the day. Yeah. I understood. Noted. Wisdom <laughs> saving throw. I make my way downstairs. As I... Think of all the disgusting ways that I could treat a loon's fish right now. And coming from the bottom of the ocean and what I smell like unpatchouli right now, the list is endless. But he sucks it the fuck up and he makes two plates. He even throws on and squeezes the extra lime from the good berries over the top. Comes all right, this is uh, it's all I got. Not not a lot of ingredients, but it'll do. Sticks out a fist bump for you. Yeah, fist bump you back. The man. And I come up with the two mountains of fish. Uh, and with that, I'll use a chef's feast card. 14 HP for everybody. Go ahead and hit the long rest on your character sheets. Get that long rest in because we're about to get it after this meal. Revitalized. Topside. Folks laid out in various areas of the deck eating this delicious sesame seared tuna staring back at a sailor's delight beautiful pink sunset Josiah take that wheel and roll us a sailing check to keep us online to Baldur's Gate Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yo fucking ho. <laughs> and really bad eggs. <laughs> if there's anything else you all would like to do for resting and cresting in to the port of Baldur's Gate, now is the time. 
Um, there's one thing. Uh, this would probably be, well, I mean, we'll see. Um, as I'm sitting kind of topside around everyone, get done eating, and we're just kind of like sitting there, and I'm kind of like resting back, I have that dagger out, and I'm I'm just like subconsciously tapping it like on the on the deck just like not really thinking about it but it's like a specific kind of pattern that i'm kind of doing and uh unbeknownst probably to me at this point really but maybe to other people you would recognize thieves can't oh i know that both She's on my boat have a thun thog <laughs> <Devin Thune! laughs> Go ahead and roll a perception check with advantage, Josiah. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I know that song. I know that song in one beat. <laughs> That's uh huh, girlfriend. <laughs> Scenes yours. Hey, wait. Yeah. I recognize that. Where do you know it from? Recognize what? What you doing? What am I doing? I'm sitting here. The thieves can't. Thieves can't. Yeah. See, you don't know my history. I grew up on boats just like this, getting the shit kicked out of me and learning the ways of, well, a lot of things. These symbols. All that you're drawing there, it's called Thieves Can. You not know what you're doing? I mean, really? You can't. Can I ask you uh, a question? Yeah. The thing fucked you up, didn't it? Obviously. It's not obvious. I don't know you. We don't know you. I don't know what you did before this. And apparently, you don't either. But chances are, we know some of the same people. Because you don't learn that without this. I made my way in this world literally a prince to a thief. It's funny to think back on it. If you had to go back and do it again, would you do it? Yes, for moments like this. So, he's explaining what you kind of wrote out. See, these symbols join together to create this word. And, you know, you'll pick it back up. Because once it's in here, it doesn't go anywhere. It's kind of like this group I'm with right now. Just can't get rid of them. Be careful. Yep. You might become next. Oh, hold on. I, I'm sorry. I uh, was in my head there for a second, trying to remember. Did you? You say you were a fucking prince. Shh. Don't tell them. Yeah. Why? Why would you become a thief if you were a prince? Seems like the opposite of what you should do. 
I can ask. I have this. It's freedom. When you're expected to do what you're expected to do, it's it's no it's no better than being in a fucking prison. And I've I've shared my fair sale of jails on overnight benders, but when you're having to toe the line on something you don't believe in, then it's better to be a beggar than be locked in a gilded cage. I've seen what power, corruption, money, religion do firsthand. I watched my mother, a strong woman, succumb to the oppression of my father. A society that levels themselves with gods now bowing to a god and taking the most powerful woman I know to nothing more than a beggar herself, but a beggar in gold robes. So yeah, I was a prince, but I could also see what was going on around me. As much as I loved my mother, I knew I couldn't save her. So I saved myself. What happened? How'd you do it? It's amazing when you live in a port town, how easy it is to sneak away from drunk guards. Dirty up your clothes, passes a street urchin. Find your way onto a pirate ship. Goods come and go all day long. Stowed away in the middle of the night. It's found in the morning. It's put to work. But I was lucky. I had an honest captain. Believed in paying for my voyage. And started there. Yeah, there were some shady dealings along the way, but he always provided for his crew. And it wasn't bound by some righteousness. It was bound by honor. Sharing a camaraderie with us all because he was in it too. The captain's never above his crew. The captain is his crew. There's no hierarchy. There's no social injustice. There's the crew. Something I would have never learned could I not jumped a ship. I would have been married to some bride I didn't care for, bowing my head on Sundays at the Church of Lathander, dead inside. Instead, I'm here on a boat with three other people I didn't know before very long. And now you. Asher, the traveler we had before us, taught me a lot. In fact, I'm not even sure I could have told this story before I met him. When I met him, he was a rube. He was just a mark in Baldur's Gate, somewhere to score cash and grift what I could from vendors that I knew that I knew would rob him blind. Something about the way he was taught me about belief in those you're with. It's amazing how perspective changes, doesn't it? Yeah, life has a uh, interesting sense of humor. Yeah. Doesn't care if you're a prince. Doesn't care if you're a thief. I'll take you out of the way. 
All you can do is be true to the feelings you have. Not a thief. Smuggler. Pirate. <laughs> you see him smile a big toothy grin. I was smuggling something. Oh, you, you are a smuggler. Gilded cage. A guild. You work for the guild. A smuggler for the guild. Did you know Lady Keel? Nine fingered lady? Anything ringing any bells? No. I don't, I don't know. Look. I'm trying to wrap my head around a lot of things, and one of them being your story. I mean, I guess in some regard, you have to be there to see what you went through. Because usually a prince's life isn't bad on any stretch, but we'll say there is a uh, there's something to be said about a life with a, a special group and special people. And that I do know. And uh, if I had to have the luck or unfortunate luck, I guess, of ending up on a ship with this batch, a little weird, but... I mean, there's a lot of other ways this could have gone, right? Yep. Take your time with the stuff up here. If you need space, take your space. Every single one on deck, they'll ask. You don't have to tell them. Just tell them you need space. They'll understand. And most of them. I don't think Aloon really understands much is he uh, like okay has he been punched in the head a lot so let me tell you about the first time I saw a loon fight <laughs> <laughs> and that is a perfect yes. segue I'll let you guys go refill your beverages <laughs> as I'm saying that Adam's thinking yeah his head was cut off <laughs> I was like oh my god I'm thinking so that. good On, decapitated you know mm. all stuff <laughs> So good. Record. Dude, there's this freaking train that just keeps honking its horn. And I'm like, I just keep trying to mute because I'm like, I'm trying not to have it come through. <laughs> oh, it's it, just it, like every once in a while, it's like, beep, beep, it, beep. <laughs> it's just like, stop. <laughs> it did well. It didn't, it didn't come through once. Good. <laughs> Trade yeah. RP. I love you guys. You're, you're, you're in there and you're guessing about everything. Yeah. <laughs> What about Asher? Is Asher still alive? Is he dead? Was Way supposed to be going this long? What's what's going on with Way? Way the I, I, you guys fuel me, okay? Just you fuel me, all right? He doesn't know either. I never tell him uh, when there's going to be an no Asher idea scene. What's going on, dude? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I just wait, and then it'll be revealed to me. That's the like basically the rule of thumb that me and Robert gave is like. I'm, I'm up for anything and he just fucking does it and my reactions are going to be genuine. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with all parties involved. I'm going to go grab a drink. <laughs> <laughs> you beautiful bastard. <laughs> Where can I buy the book? <laughs> Yeah, Waze has got a lot of good story to tell. What happened to my metal crane? Just turned into a phoenix. My metal crane just turned into a phoenix, yo. No longer be the crane, it's be the phoenix. Oh yeah. Be the Kranix. 
Did you just mix Crane and Phoenix together? They did. They were asking what happened to the metal crane. I'm like, I turned that bitch into a phoenix, man. I got, I'm writing down fucking lyrics, poetry, and I got a phoenix now. <laughs> you are a, you are a changed man. I'm a brand new man. man. <laughs> hey, came back a brand new man out of the ocean, man. I think a lot of us did. I thought he was gonna be way worse, but he, he he's kind of getting his shit together, you know. I was curious if I was going to see you out of, out of that star form again. Man, you were the deeps, the deep depths of all low. If somebody else died during the fight, it, it could have been that deep low. Yeah, what an epic card for uh, uh, Boo to roll on, a 20 on. The new strength before death that's back. I have to read up on that. If you have a reaction left, you're able to play it before you dropped zero, and then you're, you're you got that last swing, and it costs a death saving throw to do it. Oh, dude, that's money in the bank. That's yeah. a cool card. I love the trade off. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go fill my cup. Here, be. What's the trade off? You so, trade one death saving throw to use the strength before death card. If you have a reaction left, you're able to uh, to do it. And I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome guess, back. Guess who's back? Back again. Adam's back. The perfect card for Waith, it really is. <laughs> Strength that car where you like you roll a 20 and you're like Waith gets both of them <laughs> yeah I did I did thank you chat I appreciate you sorry I was I was RPing which yeah, I, I, I saw my name pop up and I had to go back and, and, and figure out what the hell that was for so thank you guys for the card I appreciate it I have a character with strength before death and I can't remember uh, it was uh, Gry Gry. No, Gry had Relentless Endurance where he dropped to one HP. True. Um, it might it might have been. Oh, you know what? I think it was from the rare drop campaign. Oh. I think it was my uh, Dampier, Renwick. Renwick, Dampier, you look here. No, but he has Strength of the Grave. Well, I mean, their they're strength. That, which is not the same thing. I swear I have way too many characters now I'm like trying to go through <laughs> you know it's it's funny how my uh D, &D beyond uh character list has grown over the uh, past couple of years <laughs> so many I've I mean just like even from like ones that I haven't played that I just have made for just random yep if somebody just randomly made you, those I like to refer to those as 2 a.m characters because that's usually when I've had a couple of uh, Mangweisers and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm watching a movie and I get inspired and I'm like, oh, flip over my phone, create a new character and just start going to town. I mean, I still have, yeah, I, I still have even my first D&D &D characters in here. Yep, it's tame. Uh, and uh, I've got that Luxodon <laughs> in here from uh, from the magic one shot we did oh my god dude i don't i don't even have uh Sendry anymore i turned Sendry into malthus literally oh, really? <laughs> converted that character I still yeah have, i still have adrian he's a he's a druid circle of the moon level 10. still got him i even have a i even have zalman silver eyes which was a guest on torment's quest it was a yeah. stout, stout halfling the old one yeah when we were um, in the tombs there. right oh no he is that no that was that was the um oh crap when we were on the farm yeah because we had to camp the chili yes outside fandolin That's good god because you played someone else when you came back during the the uh the caves i played i played uh moon spell that's right it was moon spell for a couple <laughs> ones and that was uh that was the ancestor of my cyberpunk of my uh first neon regimes character because i just took the same build and made it crossbows instead of you know pistols <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good 
Classic. Yeah, I have um, all of my characters, uh, except for my very first one, but that was a Pathfinder, completely separate thing. Mm. Um, but my first ever character was Morthos from uh, Corsair game. It was a no. tiefling sorcerer. I have, I have 37 characters here in the, right now in the D&D Beyond. Good God. To be fair, a lot of them are time wizards because I'm still working on my perfected time wizard <clears throat> build. I have 39, and one of 39? them is a time wizard. Yeah. Uh, I have several iterations of time wizards. I've, I, some of them are time wizards, and some of them are uh, like, so like multi class chronergy wizard. Chronergy, with, yeah. With, with clockwork soul sorcerer multi class. Nice. A lot of re-rolling of dice and manipulation. <laughs> yeah, I did that with uh, in one of the campaigns. I had a time wizard named Haldir, and uh, that was a lot of fun to play with. Like, like thematically, like play with original things, like, and then like kind of flavor them to be like time manipulation and stuff. Obviously, you have like dunamancy, which is the practice of actually like time manipulation and stuff. But yeah, uh, it's yeah. I mean, it was like doing a lot of flavor things to try and actually like see about it. It's a, it's a really cool class and the story was was really cool with him as well. Um, turns out he was a god. Didn't know it. And uh, yeah, I really Adam. I really liked the, the chronology wizard, but then I, I started looking at the, the clockwork soul sorcerer and I there's so that. much good there. There's so I was, it's... I was like you multi class these and you could maybe break this game, <laughs> which don't tell Rover that. Yeah, never, <laughs> tell him. Never, Too late. He never, heard you. That. He heard you. You know yeah. what? Being the DM, he's Bungie. He just nerfed that some bitch in the ground. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so you can only do it once every sunrise. We're Get. just talking about our love of time wizards and and how multi-classing a time wizard with a uh, clockwork soul sorcerer could could be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's double the hate. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking Mighty Morphin Time Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I like to I like to think of the Time Wizard as a um, flat circle. Me too. Like a you know like you know like the the class. It's more of like a uh, no, you didn't class. You know what I mean? Like like I, I swing with that sword. No, you didn't. It's uh, everything I shit. absolutely hate about Magic the Gathering. <laughs> just one big straight it blue is, deck. It is like a Magic the Gathering control deck. Yep. <laughs> it could be helpful too. Like, oh, I rolled, I, I failed. No, you did. Do it again. <laughs> well, maybe you will, but try again. <laughs> maybe maybe, I maybe like you that, will. Feisty. I want to see a time wizard that has a trait of never being punctual. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Picking up at sunrise. Josiah, one last sailing check. As a kraken attacks the ship <laughs> and tears it down to the depths. <laughs> this close to Baldur's Gate? No! 17. 17. Solid roll. The familiar creature conference of Baldur's Gate in the distance. Is it Seagulls. really familiar to us? Like we barely been there. <laughs> He's been there way longer than probably you guys have. Yeah, they're like, what is this place? <laughs> They're taking us to any port. We wouldn't have known. <laughs> this is never winter. <laughs> Staring out in the horizon. Everything is there. As you last saw, except for a rising Ferris wheel in the distance that's rotating up and over. The port is as packed as you have ever seen it. Just from outside, looking at your spyglass, it's going to be a hell of a time getting in. 
but you look and see this literal man-made canal magic made who knows it wasn't there before massive auxiliary port that is created around something you have never or may have seen before this is just a straight up question josiah have you been to the witch like carnival before Ooh. let's throw this to chance we'll say heads in a former port tails i missed it every spot i hit Right now, I got to come up with that port. <laughs> How often does this does this carnival come to Baldur's Gate? Oh, it hasn't been to Baldur's Gate in a long time. Probably five years since it's hit Baldur's Gate. Kaloon's probably been. Wait. What is this? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think Waith Waith's not the type of person would, that would go to a carnival. <laughs> like, it's so fun though. Are Holy there clowns here? shit! Oh yeah, they're clowns. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's a real piece of work in middle management. <laughs> There are clowns, but it's not like clowns Creepy. are the dominant force by any means. Oh. There's way more fey and fairy folk and centaur and satyrs. I mean, let's be honest. This is carnival food. I gets he's been around the block. Gets he's gone to the witch like carnival at some point in time. Maybe different carnivals. I don't know about this one. I don't. Yeah, she doesn't, she travels a lot in different places. So it just depends like if that syncs up. All right, it's yours to decide. And she doesn't like clowns. So typically she would avoid places that would have them. Does Gitsy not like clowns or does Becca not like clowns? I actually have no problem with clowns. Gitsy doesn't oh. like them. Okay. <laughs> the makeup and the fake smiles they put on. I just want to know, genuine. is this like an existing thing before tonight or is this the improv thing? Has Gitsy always hated clowns? <laughs> oh, yeah, she has. <laughs> it's not oh. genuine. Holy shit. Big smiles. You say that again. Paint it on your face when you can't. Carnival's in town! Fucking carnival's in town! Oh, Is man! Oh, the carnival's in town. Oh. Oh, sh Man. Great. Whoa. The last time I was in there, I snuck in. I ate so many caramel apples. I uh, just, I, I passed out. I had to work there the rest of the weekend. Or they weren't going to let me go. Holy shit. That was a long time ago. Ugh. If that's the witch light carnival, holy shit. Last time I was there, I was bullseyeing crossbow shots and pissing the little goblin off. <laughs> There's a lot of those. He kept he kept trying to load my crossbow for me. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, is it's... that a euphemism that I don't understand? <laughs> They're carnies. They just try and rob you as much as they can. Oh, oh my I god! But the Frito pies. I didn't understand that. No, no, it's different than the the reach around he was talking about. This is different. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't tell sometimes. I just assume it's all in one category. It's easier uh, that way. Reach around and crossbows do not even meet the same category. This Crossbow is the carnival. Can easily be mistaken for, I don't mean your assumption of metaphors. Uh, well, I can tell you what's not a metaphor. Funnel fucking cakes. Oh, Dude. Like food. Wait, have you ever had a funnel cake before? The first part of it is fun. Are really weird. No, 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 no. This is fair food. This is carny food. No, I was saying you you all are a little strange, but uh, no, I've never had a, a funnel cake. You've been dressed in black the entire time on a sunny boat. You're kind of weird, too. That's true. 
Well, I was also marooned and imprisoned for God knows how long, and this is the only yeah, thing I had, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. we were all story. under the sea. <laughs> As I look over at Aloon when he says the same thing, I'm like. Yeah, what you said. Mm. I like lean over to Josiah. Are they like a thing? No. Just, <laughs> they share the same brain occasionally. <laughs> Are you sure that, that, that sexual tension between them is palpable? I mean, it, if they f I didn't know about it. Did we and usually that's something I'd be into. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> it's with 50 carnivals, carnivals in town, then this is the perfect chance for me to uh, test my, my new moves. Oh, you're you're at the belt of the underdeep, so let's let's take the uh, take the channel out. Looks like um, they've made some more room for boats in this port. Let's go. Well, it should be good if we can get some food. I would like that. Mm, just imagine it gets the tahine covered mangoes, all the fat fried food you can eat. Yes. And. We're walking on land for the first time, and I don't even know how long we've been underwater. Yes, to all of that. Though you might have to get me a cart by the end of this, because I plan to eat so much that I can't walk again. You know what? That's not if healthy. I remember correctly, <laughs> they have made chance to help with that. We can all just ride around the food train. Good, good. That's all I want. Even better if they bring the food to you. No, no, no. You want to you walk around. The views are amazing. Of what? Everything. I got, you know what? I'm not gonna take you on the swan rides because you and I aren't going steady, but I'll tell you, I'll take you on the dragonfly rides for sure. What is a swan ride? It's where you go to make out with, you know, your date that you take to the carnival or is whoever you picked up in town. Like this? Is, that like the, is that like a crane thing? Oh yes, is it a crane thing? No, no, it's not one of the crane things. It's, he's don't get lost in a long sentence. He's talking about making out with his cousin in the county fair. He's just saying oh. that it's it's a ride for two is what he's trying to say. Oh, oh, too too yeah. interested. Got yeah. it. There you go. You got it. And I've never made out with my cousin. You're yes, but you went to. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> So quick. Uh, Reaffirm my you point. Know that. It's, you, you guys are weird. <laughs> he, you know that he does. You said that one. It's so. It's so written much. all over his face. Look at him. He, he his is, face right and syndicates his cousin. Is it? He is a pirate cat. He's got probably got like seventeen brothers and sisters. Do you yeah, have seventeen? It's a strong litter. Um. Mm. I'm I'm gonna get this into port. I gotta focus up on this. We got a lot of boats here. Hey, listen, don't be ashamed. This is a carnival. No one judges you at a carnival. <laughs> I do there look no forward rules. to the dragonfly. That sounds really lovely. I was under the impression this was a judgment-free boat in general. It is. Uh, to a point, you know. Right. Oh man, this right. is gonna be great. Wait. It'll be. Great. This is exactly what all of us need. Mm. I promise. Sure, I'm down to give the old carnival a ride. Get off some steam. Ride you know, not fin for our lives for a minute. That'd be great. Yes, you can. You can ride the dragonfly with us, or or if you find someone, you can go on the swan. Yeah, don't think that'll happen. Not with that attitude. Maybe you'll find a you... nice woman who makes bread. I smile back at Gitsy. It's... Maybe she'll be there. Probably gotta work, but maybe later if we see her, it'll be something else. Right? It should be perfect. Oh my God, Gitsy! I can smell the onions already. That's what I was just thinking. I really want the food. She's oh. just gonna close her eyes and just. <laughs> oh God, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> the gyro 
crow stand is what cuts first. Always does. Mm. <laughs> She's having a moment here. This tea is so good. Miss food. Right. Uh, look, just I'll help you get get the ship ready for port. <laughs> Are you speaking in complete sentences? I'm trying. Good. Well, you know what? Keep trying. Get on the mizzen mast. Grab that rope right there. I'm going to need your help on that side. Sounds good. Getting close enough, you can actually hear the fanfare cut through. Oh my god, I can actually hear it. There's silly sounds. I'm so no. silly at this point. Let me dock this boat, please. And let's get the silly and food and getting drunk because I really want to get drunk right now. I just want to say this is like the opposite thing that Waith wants right now. <laughs> but he's going with it. You're stuck with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> And it, it's a lot like going through uh, the line at Disney or Universal on the way as you come in, like music is piped in through magic mouths that are on top. Like there's, it's like every Baldurian's like high school job right now to work the extra port. So there's like, there's like two kids pulling, pulling tying boats off for like every stop. like. It's the total summer job in town right now. For the for the week that you work, you know, you make your spending money for like half the year. Boats are getting pulled up, going in and out. There's side carnival barkers that are already down there that are selling these massive trees of corn dogs that are all fresh going around. There's the cotton candy, the Mr. Squishies, all the things that are trying to get your money even before you even step through the front door. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass up that corn dog. We're getting the corn dog tree on the way in. I I need something that isn't fish based. Hey, you don't uh, you don't think that these guys will remember that we like murdered a bunch of town guards and then stole a boat and set a bunch of stuff on fire, right? No, well, absolutely you, not. Wait, you did what? I, well, uh, don't worry about it, Wait, We we had uh, different different ship, different people, different time. Things change fast in Baldur's Gate, right? Yeah. Well, look, I'm just. It, it, it will probably be fine. I'm just saying, if I need to be aware that there's heat, you know, just let me know. It's, All right, uh, there's heat. Got it. No, I mean, there's no hot, hot heat here. No, no we're we're it, fine. It we to be pouring on you. Yeah, all over you. We're good. We're cool. I, I just look at Josiah and I just like motion to both of them. You see what I mean? <laughs> don't, don't, don't take advice from that guy. He wants to kiss his cousin. I'm going to look at you, Aileen, and winking. Well, okay, then. See, proves my point. <laughs> Are you guys too related? Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything to shut him up. Problem? The way you understand that if you can get him on his axis, you can possibly get him to think about something that comes out of his mouth before it does. Hey, are you gonna keep sailing down or you wanna tie off over here, man? Oh, oh shit, oh, oh shit. Hey, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I got the line, I got the line. Yeah, hey, uh, you don't mind. I know everybody's kind of coming in a little toasted. If you could roll up them sails a little bit and not go so fast, that'd be great. Hey, Lou, hop up in the sails. Let's get those things folded up. Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't realize we're coming in that hot. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. Hey, what's up, Top Gun? Send it, dude. Let's come over here. Hey, hold on. We'll catch you down on like the third because you're kind of cruising. It's all right. Hey, come with me, all Billy. Right. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we'll get catch you in right over here. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm straight up dad in the fucking truck right now trying to back in the trailer oh, God. God damn it son of a bitch fuck yeah, you, I screwed it up you're the dad taking the bachelorette party on the pontoon to fat daddies that can't quite can't quite get into the spot well oh, hey it's God. hey it's cool just throw me a rope bro yeah hey over here captain we got you oh. covered man get see Elu, jen yeah. wait get those lines over the side before you know it four 
adolescent boys have control of your vessel right now <laughs> with ropes on either ends. <sighs> it's all right. They seem to handle it well. They're very well versed. Goddamn Perhaps legendary pirate right pirates. here. <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody's a pirate here. It's cool. Yes. <laughs> yep. In the, when they loons up at the sail, like cinching things up, can I roll an investigation? I'm looking for an area of the carnival, you know, like the area of the carnival where all the DJs hang out, like not in the carnival, but like outside the carnival. <laughs> it's a carnival. Too, it's too cool for the carnival, you know, but, but they're like, still you're at not the carnival in the area. You're like yeah, in yeah, the yeah. area behind the tents, you know, where people are like smoking cigs and. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for that uh, investigation check. Um, oh. I don't know why that killed me. Yeah, we'll take you three down because you're kind of cruising. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-three. It's what you'll hear at every gasoline oh, fill God. up during the summer. Got it coming a little too hot. It's all right. We'll get you on three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Twenty-three. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's not hard to spot the three kids with dusters and uh, uh, clove cigarettes, but they're there. Yeah, hundred percent on the outskirts. Knowing knowing where the where that part of the carnival is, I specifically want to be listening for the sounds of punching and the smell of blood as we wander through this carnival. Because I have distinct memories of impromptu bare knuckle fighting at the last carnival I was at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and uh, give that roll since you're smelling for blood. Uh, was that uh, perception or best perception, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God. oh, my God. 20, it's a 22. <laughs> with my uh, uh, there is no smell of fresh blood because this thing just started. But there are, there's, you know, the drinks are beginning to pour in at the Feasting Orchard. And you can see there's a band off in the distance that's getting this thing kicking at this point. So there's a good chance either on the outskirts, uh, when it gets a little closer to dusk after all the drinking's kicked in, you can give yourself another check. Yeah, he'll be he'll be actively looking for that kind of uh, gambling bare knuckle fighting scenario. Noted. As you guys get pulled into port, <laughs> hey, have a great time, pirate legend. I'm, I'm gonna look at him. I'm just gonna check the knots on the mooring. <laughs> He's staring at you long enough to keep eye contact for a tip. Oh wow! Oh, you know what? I'm gonna suss it out. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna roll investigation on how well they tied it off because that's gonna change the tip. What a fucking piece of shit! A hundred percent. What a piece of shit! He puts twenty ones on the boat, and every time that knot slips, he takes one away. Things. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's never had his own boat before. He knows nothing about those slight extras. How many boats have you had? I've had 36. I oh, see you being an ass hat to the help that's just pulled us up. Before you're even able to look over the knots, they're fine. We're not dying in the middle of the ocean. We're literally in the port at Baldur's Gate. If it runs away, it's not going far. As you see the lineup of like, if it were to get untied, there are 16 kids that are looking to fix it. It'll be fine. And I hand a stack of five gold coins over. Dang. Yeah. One for each of them. Don't keep it yourself. Bad man, we'll see you when you get back. Have fun. And don't worry about yourself. If, if, if this boat uh, goes away, we'll just steal another one. No big deal. I want to steal another boat. It literally so came out own. of a fucking bottle, Josiah. 
Want a corn dog? <laughs> I've already gone down there. I've got, <laughs> like I have a bouquet of them now. Huh? Huh? Yes. <laughs> I'll be frank. It's You're delicious. I, I will be a loon. Yes. <laughs> Gitsy. I'm gonna be satisfied. Old names. What? With this corn dog. That's what they call them. Their nickname, Franks. I don't know why. Let's call them that. Uh, Part of the deal. There's a deal we have to make. No, Gitsy, don't worry about it. We're coming to get food. It'll help, like, I don't know. It might not clear the fog, but it's cool. We're getting food. Come. Look, uh, I, I don't want to be that guy, but uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I don't have any gold or anything. I really yeah, we have... didn't either until we sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Good news is we got a little bit. You're on us. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. You just kind of said... helped save the world. And nobody else knows about it. The least you can do is get a meal. Let's go with it. Eat a corn dog. They're actually kind of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. If you play your cards right, uh, I, I may have an opportunity for you later tonight. Uh, you just stay, stay close to me. You you could earn some real gold. Is that like a weird proposition? <laughs> I said, don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to insight check him. <laughs> okay. Can't tell if he's hitting on me or... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, he's, uh, he's just <laughs> hitting at some no, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just trolling you. Uh, all right. Uh, sh sure. It's, it's fine. You will be, you will be flushed by the morning. <laughs> You really. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's just like, okay, yeah, sounds sounds good. As he gets the corn dog and he takes a bite, and he's just like, holy shit, this is amazing. What is this? <laughs> Delicious, what it is. Oh my god, meat. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> Indeed. And and you just see Waith like sprint to the like edge of the dock and then jump down and then it's just like on the ground and he just like kneels down with the corn dog and he just puts his hand in the sand and he's just like I fucking missed you <laughs> welcome back to land and all I see is darkness that's all I see too. Oh, I can't see anything. It's land. I don't know what it is. <laughs> all I see is rain. All I see is pain. Welcome to the oh, there it is. Ooh. I've never seen this before. <laughs> what is this? Step right on up. Step on up to the world famous witch like carnival. Step right up. As you guys make your way through the boardwalk for the first time to the witch light carnival you can see what is now a long line but moving quickly you guys are right over here oh yeah it's a big it's a very big map i will uh this little boink pop up. Where are we? Don't worry. I will uh, I'll help you out here. I got I got tools for this. I assume like right. Yeah, like Oh, I see it. I had to zoom away. <laughs> we, yeah. In the what, in the path the, before the ticket booth, south the uh, east. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. things have changed. Okay. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Let's see here. Where did I bury this at? <laughs> oh, I, I already know this degen area is behind the staff area. <laughs> <laughs> it's in 4D. <laughs> Brought to you by the Feywild. The Feywild. <laughs> I'm about to... Oh, there we go. That's where I was at. 
Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you are here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> had to see where I had shit buried on the other map. <laughs> and we're waiting. <laughs> In lines. It's all part of the experience. Just look around. I'm sorry, I got plenty of corn dogs. Corn dogs are a lifesaver. Oh, speaking of. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. So good. Mm. Let's see here. While we we're here at this moment, just to let everybody know, this wow. is 100% canon with Tuesday. Oh, God. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, so I got my little Dogecoin markers out. Oh, here we go! Oh boy, were we at this point? I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, we're 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 starting things off just just right. Boom. So now, see the markers, the mood right now. Such wow. Right at the very beginning. Good, good. Just cresting into the beginning of the carnival here. Finally navigating this damn line. Making our way up to the front. Tickets, please! Tickets, please! Nicholas the Goblin up front. Checking for everyone's entrance fee to get into the carnival. Jin is going to once again go up ahead in the line and take care of everyone's ticket. Got five. Five, please. Five tickets. Five gods. Stacks it up. Rips it off. Here we go. Three complimentary ride tickets. <laughs> So you have your tickets to the carnival. You also have three tickets independently of your entrance fee. Oh. Gitsy, perception check. Oh no. Okay. Boom. It is a three. I'm very overwhelmed I, by uh, everything. Overwhelmed by the sights and sounds. You're lucky enough to just miss the giant singing clown. Oh God, no. Oh, no. You guys were Big. joking that there needs to be mage hands, but you'd be carrying her a lot sooner if we did. Big purple beret and pear-shaped body followed by a couple of flying fairies and a centaur and a small goblin making their way past the ticket booth. Totally oblivious, thank goodness. Ugh. You're lucky with that low roll, you can't even hear him singing. Oh my God. Aww. The squeaking of their shoes and nose that bothers me too. Especially the nose. It's a weird. Oh man, where do we start? I Okay, obviously. We have to get ourselves food first. 100%. Yes, I would like yeah, to. Yeah, I, I agree. Pickle on a stick. Pickle on a stick? Mm hmm. Wade what? pulls out the little brochure map. All right, if we're at the ticket booth, and that means we got to go. There's like a whole feasting thing. There's like some side snack areas over here, I guess. You say feast? You, map. you can just follow your nose. The feast, look, take me to the feast, please. Gitsy, Gitsy, there's literally giant fruit. Where? Look at this banana and the apples. Candy apples. Where? Where is the candy apples? Come, come, come. I'm gonna, uh, Gitsy, I'm gonna grab your hand. Drag me, drag me. Yeah. I go willingly. <laughs> As I start Are we splitting up. Is shilling that, out that the plan shilling out <laughs> coppers no we're like right here it's like moving from the middle of the walkway up to the stand 
And I'm just... Oh my god, we we were those people that were like that large group that stops in the middle of the crowd and, and is looking around and everyone behind him is like, move the fuck out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You decided to open the map in the middle. Yeah, I was that guy, but also I've never been to the carnival before, so <laughs> it's just like... So died a little inside. Well, according to this, we got to go up this way and then we got to take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, knows this direction. Like three kids come up to you. It's where Batman. And they're like pulling on your black armor from down below. It's where Batman. Oh, look at his nose. It's just as gnarly as I thought it would be. <laughs> and like the kids are holding up. And they're like, yeah. Who are they talking to? Yeah. You wait. What did you are say? You, are you a celebrity? It's okay. They do. It's the kids. He's not wear Batman. He just likes to wear dark art. They think you're a superhero. Don't worry about it. It's are you actually a superhero. He's superhero. He's not even wearing hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> it'll be okay. Just chill. Just let them. They want to stand there. And, let me let me sketch a picture of you. Let me sketch a picture of you. And of course, the Ugh. parents are over there. Of course, whatever it costs. Oh, we need to stand there just a minute. Just a minute. I'll sketch a picture of you. Uh, with me. The kids are all by, by either sides. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Doing their best wear Batman pose on either side of you. You look great. Very hero y. Right. One of us will get recognition for being a hero. Yeah. Soak it up. Mm hmm. You enjoy that. You stay there being drawn, and we're all going to go get food. Sure. <laughs> yeah, just stand there. I need to sketch you a little bit longer. Hey, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> there are kids. Hey, that's my kid there. Wouldn't mind, you know, holding back the f bombs a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Like that, that he's a hero. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's part of the super, you know, part of the carnival. Yeah. No, I'm not. The <laughs> wife comes up. We spent all of our money get here to see where Batman. I don't know if you're having a bad day because it's busy when at the carnival. If you could please just make their day once for a moment, okay? It's been a lot of money to get here. And I'm not going to have them crying before we get into the big top because there's 12 other siblings that we got running around out here. Oh my fuck. <laughs> it is not her. You <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Waist like f fist clenches, and it's just like, <laughs> Are you done yet? Did you get the picture, the drawing, the doodling. Just a moment longer, just a moment, one more moment. It, it, uh, sketch is about done with my uh, with my mind. I telekinetically <laughs> shove one of the kids over on their face without moving oh, oh my god uh, danny you <laughs> and he had his nose pulled up dude his nose is just absolutely walk just busted broken the side oh don't worry oh, no that's so terrible better get him some help i, I guess we can't do the photo no Take no care now no okay. we got it just a second long. we we got it we got it <laughs> They go over his kid's nose permanently busted up like a uh, like a bat's now. See, I told you if you would if you kept holding it there, it was gonna be permanent. 
<laughs> don't uh, don't worry. This this happens to me all the all of the time. Alun will try to go pop that kid's nose back into place. Oh god! <laughs> oh, god. That's the worst thing you could do. Don't go touch strange children. Supposed <laughs> <laughs> to try to take that kid's broken nose. And Look, just, you you, you said that, that, but me as a grown man just pushed that little kid onto the ground and broke his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I don't know which one's worse. Here. You just didn't touch the child. Keep the distance. <laughs> this happens to me all of the time. I can fix this. Uh, go ahead and give us a uh, medicine check on that. Oh, God. DC 14 for no saving. Oh! oh! I got, I got in. <laughs> I'm rolling the big one. No, I'm rolling 11. the big one. Oh, did you come over? <laughs> Present yourself as you make your way over to the child. Is it, don't, don't worry, I, this happens to me uh, all, all of the time. I, I, I know exactly what I am doing. I fixed uh, maybe a hundred broken noses. Oh, and Dad looks over at uh, over at Brenda. Hell yeah, get a tip for free. This is hey, hey, this is. Hey, don't worry, I will take care of it. And he, and he puts his thumbs on either side of the nose. <laughs> and he, he, he breaks it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks, uh, 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 besides all the bleeding, it looks it, a little bit better, doesn't it, Brenda? It, it, it's better. It's better, right? It's. Oh. Wait, that was Asher. That's not Waif. <laughs> I think that, uh, I think that uh, That's not how this works. I think that that gives you character. It, 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 like, uh, like yeah, a uh, Wilson thing. Yeah, let's just get some, uh, let's just get some gauze. <laughs> hey, uh, cause they're fucking idiots. Hey, hey thank you, sir. Hey, free, free medical over here, hey? Hey. You might need to take a fall over there by the by the by the other tent. You know, get that knee fix we've been talking about. <laughs> I uh, oh, I rolled a stealth check to try and slide away while that was happening. <laughs> it was a tw it was a twenty nine. Twenty nine. I, I successfully get out of there. <laughs> dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. <laughs> you weird vampire, quit it. <sighs> I just like was I just like send a message in the other kid's ear that's like, look, there's there's super vampire man. <laughs> like, it's just over the other way. <laughs> like, where did where what? Batman go? I'm out of there, dude. I'm gone. <laughs> <sighs> Me and Gitsy are both double fisting uh caramel apples with like I got, I got like the uh, uh, turtle, turtle variety on one, and I got like a straight up on the other. Mm. Did I take offense to the fact that you're eating a turtle version? <laughs> they just call it that. Gets you. I don't know why. Hey, I don't make. I didn't make the rules. It's just chocolate and and, and peanuts. Why didn't I get the turtle version? You did. It's still there. It's look. It's behind the other one. Oh, there. I have to eat the first one. Got it. <laughs> I'm all of a sudden behind you. Never do that again. Oh, go. Oh, I hate kids. <laughs> you surprise me. I'm going to swing around and, and attack with my turtle apple. Oh, my God. <laughs> An armed strike. An armed strike. <laughs> Just gonna, possibly some caramel damage incoming. Yes. Mm. Oh, that was an 18 hit. <laughs> Eight, 18 does hit. Now, are oh, you resistant to caramel damage? Or? <laughs> yeah. Uncanny <Now> dodge. <laughs> <laughs> you just like hit me with it. I'm just like, really? You don't surprise a woman who has food in her hands. You should know better. You can sneak yeah. up on children, but you can't sneak up on me. Okay, I didn't sneak up on any children. Well, you just surprised us, so you should be careful about that. Where Batman? He did, he, did, he did no sneaking. He attacked that child head on. I didn't know such thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm pretty He's sure so you. I'm proud of him. You, did you did you re break his nose? Sure you didn't. Uh, no, he fixed it. Of course you did. And they seem happy with it. Yeah, he's. Right. Uh, let's go to the food place, shall we? Well, do oh, like, you want to have this apple that is now halfway smeared on your face? Because I don't want it. <laughs> it just, he just stares at you, eat. and then oh, he, he just grabs it. <laughs> he just grabs it. <laughs> okay. Fine. No, Josiah, you can have the other one. 
I, no, I'm not gonna. I, I mean, if you were gonna eat that one, I was. I, I would have been okay with eating it. No, but I mean, don't worry. I, I'm sure we'll be able to get more. I have a big stomach, and I'm not going to stop at apples. Getsy, I'm not gonna take food away from you. I mean, we're literally heading to a feast, right? That's feast. True. That's what's next. Smart. Oh, yeah, careful. Feast. She might turn into a snapper turtle. That's not possible. Yeah, it was. I'm I, not I, funny. I, Get the joke, just nice don't, try, Wade. Don't worry, there's plenty of savory food right over here on the other side. Just eat the apple, it'll be better for you that way. Yeah, I am. And, and, and you can see I'm like eating it begrudgingly, but like, <laughs> I really, it's good. Like, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Like, you seem like, yeah. It just like gives that slight nod of like, yeah, this is real good. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First thing we need to figure out. First thing we need to figure out. Uh, okay. I'm. I'm first. I'm getting a spicy euro and a traditional. Thank you. Uh. But we need to decide where we're going to the Pixie Kingdom or Bubble Pot Teapot first. Kingdom. Oh, Pixie Kingdom sounds kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Hold on here. There's a lot of look, look, there's a lot of reasons why we don't actually get to choose. Chat, put up a poll right now between oh. Pixie Kingdom and mm -hmm. Bubble Pot Teapot. <laughs> oh, we were getting food first. We are, we're getting food. We're right here. We're at the it's the court. You know, it's it's the okay. you gotta eat the street meat first. Then we get the big sit down magical feast, okay? Yeah. All right, can I open can I get a up, can I get a euro? Guide map. Maybe can we I can get a euro? Map. Yeah, yeah, hold up the guide map. I'll get you a euro. What do you want on it? Uh, everything. That's a good boy. Oh man, you are wild. Make that two. I want that fries. Oh yeah. Get some so of that hungry. sauce on the side of the fries too. Oh, and give, give me one of those. Give me one of those frozen lemonades. Ooh, bully! Uh, two frozen <laughs> lemonades. Man, on this, you know how to eat. Oh, I've I've been literally eating guts for like as long. As, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's time we get some good food in you. Yeah. This is much better than what we were getting down there. I'm sure it's delicious to them, but. Our stomachs just can't process it the same. Loading Where up with food, to? with Waith holding out the difference between the two rides. Oh my God, it's neck and neck. Pixie Kingdom up by two early on in the poll. Oh Pixie Kingdom. <laughs> I mean, they're I want both. Nothing more. They're both good. It's I. No, fuck bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. No one point. send me to the bubble kingdom or whatever it's called. I don't need That's that. Bubble I want to go visit the pop teapot or pixie kingdom. Thank you very much. They're well, both. Better make sure I get it. Don't, just... don't listen to her. They're both just fine. It's. It, I don't. Maybe first time a lot of it's overwhelming over here. Uh, you know, you're gonna see a lot of weird shit too like just get used to it but the people watching that's the best part you know where batman oh my god stop <laughs> i wonder if we get to front of lines because you're where batman oh, i'm just what a celebrity I wonder if we can make a drinking game out of it how many times does waif get where batman and do we do shots every time and uh. make them pay for having their picture taken with him yeah <laughs> Then you can get some more coin in your pocket. It's not a horrible plan. I know. It's not all I'm, not, I'm not smiling. All of a sudden you're into this? I think you'll be there. Well, I have zero, see? zero gold to my name, so if it gets me a few extra coins. Time to work, pretty boy. <laughs> I have no idea what wear Batman looks like. I don't know, you don't want a pretty, you want a brooding, just like he is right now. Yeah. This is, this they is look perfect. like me. Perfect. Does he have any iconic lines? I don't know. 
Well, yeah, I don't even know who, where Batman is. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to stand there. Oh no! And then say, "Hey, that's going to be five gold." Oh, Pixie Kingdom in the last minute. If you got to vote, now's the time to vote for it. Oh, <laughs> it's so close. Oh, fourteen no, eleven. Who, did, oh. who changed oh. it? Oh, no. Pixie Kingdom! Go. Damn it, Strix, they go! Yes! Pixie Kingdom! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, Pixie is real excited about that. Do we get to eat Pixies? What the f? <laughs> you're worried about me pushing a kid and him, but you're trying to eat people? Or fa fairies? Or pixies? Or whatever they are? <laughs> Pixies can look like a lot of things, like even caterpillars. They're delicious. <laughs> Pixie sticks. <laughs> As a street magician comes by, <laughs> wowing children down Carnival Food Row, it points directly at, and I'm rolling for this one, this is going to be a D6. If it lands on six, two of us are going to get this. Josiah is one, Aloon is two, three is Gitsy, four is Waith, five is me. Oh God. <laughs> Josiah, the street musician, turns your head into a brain donkey. All to the delight of the mischievous pixies that are behind and the kids. Oh, look at him, he's gotta ask for a face. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna play it up and start doing the that, that clown dance for, for a minute. I, I think you need to uh, uh, give me a performance check on your uh, your Fortnite floss. Oh yeah. Oh, oh so we're gonna floss this one. All right. Uh, performance. This is why I hate kids. Really, really trashy. <laughs> <laughs> it performs as well as ninjas did on yeah. New Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> You know, considering I'm, I'm holding a loaded gyro with fries, that, that's understandable. I'm <laughs> oh, it's disgusting seeing you eat as the horse. <laughs> <laughs> it quickly wears off. Oh, it's just food is all of your face when it does, like a fry, like stuck hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm just literally using my claws to pull fries and gyro out of my beard. It's all <laughs> twisted up. But oh, it's still good. Mm. Mm. Off to Pixie Kingdom. Yes, it should be really exciting. Is everybody everybody good? Everybody ready to go down to Pixie Kingdom? Yes, Pixie Kingdom, please. All right. You guys begin making your way downtown. Making my way over to the Pixie Kingdom. You should have all control of your uh, your uh, tokens here too. I'm there. Oh, I got my, my ass. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'll go there. I'll be in the shadow brooding. I'm just kidding. The size of a wagon. I'm in the shadows. Watching. Watch. Always watching. Where are the pixies? <laughs> Where are the pixies? <laughs> it's a gathering of small, miniaturized oak trees and shelters of a mini fairground at the heart of it a small hamster is running the tiny ferris wheel <laughs> that's cute <laughs> encircled by minuscule wagons and small candy stalls a pixie sits cross-legged in a hollow of a tree at the entrance to this small area hello my name is jeremy plum Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Pixie Kingdom. Thank you. We're here for the food. Oh, we do have good food here at the Pixie Kingdom. I Excellent. Hope you That's exactly hungry. what I want. We're starving, actually. <laughs> Looks at the group. It's already like still has residual food. Been walking and eating. 
Yeah. I can see it's a food day. It is definitely. We even have Wear Batman with us. <laughs> yeah. A loon will bow and say, "It is uh, nice to meet you, Your Majesty." No. Oh. Hey, thank you. He's assuming he's the Pixie King. <laughs> 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 He takes his small bowler hat off of uh, <laughs> of his body. He's wearing like a three piece, like brown suit, very straight up Amazon carnival style. Got the pocket watch hanging over in the front. Hmm. Nice uh, legendary lad man chops on either side. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Please, if uh, I gonna interest you in a little bit of uh, rock candy. Yes. Those little pixies fly up. These. Tiny little pieces of candy. Mm. It's he's slightly disappointed by the size of said candy. <laughs> Let's see a question. You got anything harder? <laughs> rocks? I'm glad it's, you it's, asked. It's more alcohol than sugar. Oh, that's what it means. <laughs> that one honestly went over my head. I didn't. <laughs> Not big enough at all. This rock candy is pretty good, but you gotta get actual rocks. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> oh. I'm here for the crystal meth. Oh my god! <laughs> Jacob to the carnival is looking for crack cocaine. <laughs> you get Not off the boat once. Harder, I can stop anytime. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna have to ask the guy at the tilt the wheel. <laughs> this is fucking this deadliest is catch. <laughs> Sorry. I've been under the ocean for a fucking month crabbing for free. Can I get some fucking rock around here? <laughs> I've been smelling crab farts for three months. I can't take any more. You have to be explicit with me. I'm not understanding. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, Christ. Bless your, your little soul. <laughs> Bless your little soul. Why are you asking for that? <laughs> <laughs> and so openly. He's <laughs> asking about alcohol. It's alcohol. Oh, it's crack. <laughs> crack, goes, crack turtle. <laughs> Excuse me. Here. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's so rude of me. As he sprinkles pixie dust, as everyone begins to shrink down to tiny size, so that rock candy you had, it drops like a great sword, like in your hand. Welcome to the kingdom. Oh, now this is a nice party trick. I wondered how we were gonna ride that Ferris wheel. Now that hamster is massive. It's. <laughs> it's way more scary. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's oh, muscular. No. It looks like the front of a pit bull hamster right now. <laughs> I think it's built. <laughs> it's all shoulders. <laughs> uh, yeah, before you get on the rides, you said you were hungry. Uh, uh, it's a bring over cucamelon sandwiches and thimbleberry tarts from the small pixie cottages. Just bringing out this stacked buffet. Oh, don't worry. Oh, please don't go in front of Biscuits. He'll get to them. The hamster is named Biscuits. Aw. <laughs> and the hamster looks over and goes, Better have some on my fucking break. <laughs> it, it is awakened and can speak common. <laughs> it's uh, just fine, Biscuits. As it will always be. You'll get the rest of the buffet when, when they're done through. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we do first? Do you want to get on the wheel? Oh, absolutely. I feel like this is the opposite of aren't those aren't those supposed to be able to like give you a view of like everything and this is a lot <laughs> smaller. Oh, I thought it would be nice just to sit and rest a little bit while we eat. <laughs> I'll let you get on first. <laughs> and it's biscuits. <laughs> I love this. It's biscuits wheel. Oh, uh, and it's a small wooden wheel with eight wicker carriages. And biscuit is down there on the bottom, just trundling that thing through. 
And he's quite talkative. You can see him talking to all the guests as they're going on and off. Ugh. I just can't wait to eat like the rest of everybody else around here. Slave drivers, I tell you. Slave drivers and the damn thing has just opened up. Ugh. Come on, let's get on. We got tons of food. Here, let's grab it. Let's just... We'll get the, the the big the big cart like the little it's like the the gondola one. We could it'll be great. Yes, yes, I think this would be absolutely delightful. Hey, Jen, let's slip biscuit some of that tart and hop on. See if we can't get the uh, you know the real fast spin. I don't like where you're thinking. Yeah, I uh, I, mean, I drag over my rock candy sword. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, biscuit. What? What? <laughs> uh, how about a little, uh, little grub for, uh, a little extra special, you know? And I make this weird, like... <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna make biscuit roll on that. Is Jin drunk? No, yeah, Jin's <laughs> no, having a great having time. A time. Oh, okay. It's carnival, man. He loves the carnival. That's his secret. He's always, He's always drunk. He's always drunk. <laughs> Where's the drinks, Jen? Yeah, you got it, boss. No more <laughs> words spoken from Biscuit. As you can see, he's just kind of... <clears throat> this hamster... You know, kind of those moments that, like, kangaroos hulk out. This hamster's over here... <clears throat> You can see there's just a small post over here. He just kind of takes a left hook over at it. This could be good. This could be good. Sits down, nibbling on that rock candy as the, the small carriage gets down to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we want. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's do it. All aboard, Kitsy. Would you like to enter first? I would, yes, thank you. She'll slide on in, going to the far opposite side. That seems like proper etiquette. Yeah, light. Lo <laughs> Wait, Elune, let's go. Let's go. Bring the food. Mm. And uh, we actually get a small, you can see there's about four pixies wheeling this wooden barrel, kind of going all over the place. And there's a stack of cups on top of it. And uh, you, you look uh, uh, back over at Jeremy Plum, just gives a nod of his cap as you sent a keg of butter beer over Ooh. for the ride. Dude, uh, it's gonna be the it, best ride ever. They, they, they have a very generous king. Expense, no expense. <laughs> Loading up on this. <clears throat> he begins to just slowly crank the Ferris wheel up. As we get that first one full rotation to get everybody loaded on up. Begins to spin around a little bit faster the next time where we crest up at the top of the view. And as we look out, it's true. You get this great view of the Pixie Kingdom, but also it's just about head level with the ass crack of some dude who hasn't pulled up his pants. And you can just see that plumber's crack as his kids are going on to the bubble pot teapot. Oh, the valley is deep with this one. Look at that crack. Haven't seen that since we battled a sea monster. <laughs> this hair looks like a palm tree. That's a vision I wasn't expecting here. Oh. Braid that and throw some beads on it. Oh. oh. Don't ever say that again. I mean, you got to style it a little bit. Come on, it needs some flair, some panache. That is, that is right there, unbridled, unchecked ass hair. <laughs> Oh, wait, do you want a butter beer? These things are great. Because I'm pouring from the keg. Yeah, I'm going to need one after that. <laughs> Get the butter it's beers worse. out. It's worse when you're smaller. It's <laughs> so much. Yeah, I'm just going to 
stare over this way. <laughs> and then before you know it, it's like, whoa, we made that first rotation. And I look over at Josiah. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is kind of going a little, a little bit faster than what a, a Ferris wheel. Uh. He starts tearing ass. It's this thing. It kicks it into overdrive. We're spinning. DC 18 athletics to save but from being flung on the Ferris wheel. Oh. I got you. Oh, man. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Oh. Lord, oh. Lord, 2020, oh dirty 20. Everyone is holding on, bracing themselves. Except me. Except for <laughs> Wade. <laughs> As it spins. flies through the night. <laughs> Waith is jettisoned. And as it comes to a stop, boom, up top, we see it like in slow motion. It's Waif jettisons into that butt crack, head first. <laughs> Wedged in between. We just see his legs up and just the hair sticking. And you see that hand come down to scratch. And it just rubs Waif in deeper than what he was before. <laughs> I hate you for that so much. <laughs> Could have done anything, but you had to do uh, that. <laughs> oh, Jen, 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 oh. biscuit just had a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> we flashed him the, the, the buddy Christ. Oh, no, he's never. He's going to leave. I, if, I mean, if he does, he does. But I mean, come on, if you're going to go, that's the way to go. Oh. Let's just oh. hope he doesn't have a wiping problem. Oof. I need a dexterity saving throw for Waith. <laughs> oh, Welcome man. to your hazing. <laughs> That's pretty good. 18. Role. You're able to wiggle your way down the tiny whiteies all the way through the Walmart <laughs> dickies khakis till you sprout out somewhere near sport mode engaged crocs as you just get a whiff oh oh those haven't been washed in a while could be pressure washed oh feeling like andy dufresne crawling through the sewer system at this point wait you emerged well skidded staring back at the pixie kingdom it is your choice uh, do what you wish. This spell wears off in an hour. We've spent about 30 minutes. Is there like a bath house? Yeah. <laughs> or like a pool? Or like anything? Puddle at least. There's a small pond. Small koi fishing pond. Where there's like uh, kids are kicking like small coins into, like there's a little feeder for koi fish by the sides. Yeah. Mom, look at the sure. car. Oh, mom, where Batman looks rough. <laughs> you come over in your skid marked body. Oh, <laughs> that's not very fun. Oh, 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 oh. I don't see shit. <laughs> Did it. There's, a, there's a whiff of foul play in the air, but that's all they get as you disappear <laughs> into the water. Didn't take long for you to get back to your roots. I may never come out. <laughs> That's fair. You and may have we uh, see see Waith off into the future, sure? drowning in the koi pond after being shoved in some dude's asshole. I, I you weren't shoved; you. you were ejected. Okay. Eject 
not helpful. Thought about <laughs> killing him. I honestly I thought about him. killing him. Kill like, Waith might just like wait until he's big and just slit his throat. <laughs> He'd just be like, well, wash your ass, you nasty <laughs> bitch. <laughs> ah, it's okay, Gil. And it's terrible. <laughs> I don't. And we don't see him come out of the pant leg. Oh, God. Thusaya. He's, he's fine. I'm, I'm sure he stuck in his ass. Is he okay? Yeah, he's gets he, he's fine. Yeah, he's okay. fine. We need to go rescue him. That's not going to do well for anyone. That's not <laughs> How okay. do you say that? Excuse me, sir. I think one of our friends is stuck in your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that was. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to look <laughs> over at Jen with this look of concern like, we're gonna have to follow this guy. I don't, I don't know where Waith is. No, on the asshole, guys. It's the only way to save me. <laughs> Here, we'll just. Keep, I mean, the spell's gonna wear off in like thirty minutes anyway. That dude's gonna have a hard launch. Oh, imagine. <laughs> oh. I think you think Waith has enough air in there? <sighs> He's you resourceful. Know. He's been in a worse situation. It's true, he's been under the sea, but I mean, yeah. you saw how much hair was in there. Oh, more know. for him to climb out on. He's got a firm grip on the way out. Listen, I know he's new, but we said we would all stick together, didn't we? <laughs> you want to go in that ass crack? <laughs> no, but I'd, I'll uh, try to fish him out or something. That's a great idea, Kitsy. Hey, hey uh... uh I look down over at uh, biscuits, and I throw down a cupcake. Just give him the sign, hold us up top, and I pull my fishing pole back out. There we go. This is it. You gotta do what you can. We don't leave anyone behind. Or in the behind. Or definitely not in the behind. Goodness. All right. You can use your survival or athletics. I'll take the first shot. Dude, it's a hole in one over here, man. This is like a, this is a DC, DC 19. Try to slip between the wedges. Ah, see what I got. <laughs> <laughs> Jen the Fisherman. Oh my God. I got it. I got it. I fucking got it. I can't believe it. Put him out. Oh God. Oh, 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 I don't. Okay. All right. I gotta be, I gotta plenty of slack in the line. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough. All right. Here. Somebody brace me. Okay. It's not easy in pixie form. <laughs> As I put my legs up against the back wall and put my back to you. All right. <sighs> Stiffen up. Okay. Give all right. all you got. Athletics with advantage as I start reeling in. <laughs> oh, we got something. I think we got him. I think we got him. I think we got him. <laughs> We begin to see those tidy whities pull. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got him! I think we got him! Oh. I don't know what you have. Oh. And you see that hand come down as he shifts about as this dude literally gets a massive pixie wedgie. Oh no, 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 and a hand reaches down and it gets a hold of it. It just disappears in the crevasse. No, no, the line snaps. Oh, full on butt itch. He's gone. He's not, that's not how he's dying, no. Gitsy, there's, there's no way. Well, There's no, no way he could survive that. It's possible. Gitsy's gonna lean out of the basket. Is there any way to speed up the regrowth process where we become full size again? Absolutely. It, do you have help with the retrieval program? I'm sure it, this hasn't been the first time someone small has gotten lost or flown off this Ferris wheel. 
Oh, of course, of course. We have plenty of people that lost and found for that. Uh, oh, okay. One of ours got flown off, and we think he landed over on that gentleman's rear. Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> Would it be my honor <laughs> as he flies up to, as you guys are getting off the Ferris wheel right now? Oh, thank Good God. job. All biscuits. you have to do is ask for help. <laughs> is it Surely. sprinkles? Oh, yes. Across Please. us, all getting larger before our eyes. And one, you see Jeremy <laughs> as he flies over, he sprinkles some more of the pixie dust over in the open butt crack. <laughs> and nothing happens. Oh, no. Is he too far up or is he not there? <laughs> Shit. Ten, ten. They don't pay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. They don't pay me enough to fly down there. <laughs> I'll be very honest. If he's, if he's. Well, go find out in about 15 minutes. Does it work even if he's dead? Yes. As we all with bated breath sit back and are watching, waiting for this man's pants to explode. <sighs> oh no. 16 minutes go by. 17. His child gets off the ride and his pants don't explode. Wait. As you've been hidden, where uh, are you in the vicinity anymore? Or are you gone? Uh, Waith cleans himself up as best as he can, uh, and then probably goes and tries to find like some sort of costume shop to change clothes. And so that's probably what he does as he goes, <laughs> and, he, and he and he and he tries to get a get a some sort of costume, but like an edgy one <laughs> it's not it's ridiculous shop and costume shops <laughs> yes or spencer's <laughs> same thing way with your <laughs> blending in with the locals quite well now just with a wife beater and uh your slacks give me a survival check with your oh, map god I have advantage because I have the map. Yeah. Hmm. God, it's not great either way. Ten. Oh man, you're not able to find a good costume shop. You're able to find like just the the that year's edition merchandise. <laughs> and so like it's actually all the, it's the Pixie Kingdom. Which <laughs> light Baldur's Gate, Pixie Kingdom. <laughs> Comes yeah, with, go, it comes with it comes with a free keychain. Does it come in black? Uh, we got witch light blue. We got mysterious purple. We got uh ever blue green. We also have sky blue. Uh, we got raucous red. Yeah, I think we sold. Uh, no, hold on. We got. <laughs> We got a black one, but it's like, uh, it's just a medium. Well, I'll do the red. That way, if I bleed, you can't tell. Yeah, that's the spirit. Hands you over the Witch Light Carnival Pixie Kingdom Edition shirt. I begrudgingly put it on because it's clean and not a vast. <laughs> yeah, we got a uh see so you uh, kind of got a cape over there if you're in uh you know cape things. We got a uh, Master of Ceremonies 2021 edition Baldur's Gate. And it's uh it best can be described as a purple uh, silver and white Ric Flair robe that comes up and over mixed in with some sequins. If you're interested no, mine's uh, a little special to me. I appreciate it, though. No problem, man. That'll be uh, 15 silver. Then he realizes he has no gold. 
Oh man, you kind of already put that thing on. Oh yeah. I guess I'll uh, give it back then because it didn't quite fit. No, no, that's the thing, man. Nothing here's free. Nothing's ever lost. As you've entered in a deal inside the Fey, of which you cannot pay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> nah. This doesn't fit. And I take the shirt off and I give it back. That's not how it works, man. You owe really? me. Oh, I, I owe you. Yeah. So I just bought the shirt. Why'd you buy the shirt? You just wash it. Uh, and sell it. Nothing here is free, man. Nothing is ever lost either. What is that like your slogan? No, it's like Look, part I'll of the fake. I'll, I'll hey. find my group and I'll get, hey. the, I'll get the silver. All right. Hey, I'm not some fucking weirdo, okay, man? All I want is a fucking pack of cigarettes, okay? <laughs> if you can get me a fucking pack of cigarettes back over here before my break so I can get a fucking smoke break, we'll call it even. All right? Do you sell cigarettes here? If I sold cigarettes here, why would I ask you for a pack of cigarettes, man? Because then the cigarettes would be free. Oh my God. Hey, it's okay. All you gotta do, go find your group. Get me a pack of Witchlight 120s, menthol, okay? Oh God. That's all I want. There's like 17 other stands around here. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll be back. It's a deal. I say nothing. I just leave. <laughs> Man, this I carnival will, uh, is awesome. I'll reluctantly wait, and, you know, and, and then find my group later, like track them down in front of the old pixie kingdom. And uh, you see see me come up, and I still got the, the black cloak on, but I'm wearing a red witch light <laughs> Pixie Kingdom like <laughs> souvenir T-shirt. Whoa! What you? Where'd you come from, Wait? This guy jumped all in. Look at you in the souvenirs. Good, yeah. Are you okay? We tried to find you. We even got help and and tried to sprinkle over the the man's rear to see if we could bring you out. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, you missed it. Jen straight up tried to fish your ass out of his crack and ended up giving the guy an atomic wedgie. Did you, how did you get out? Yeah, let's not talk about this, okay? Like, ever again. I'm sorry. Ever again. Okay. I, need, I need to find a pack of Marlboro Witchlight 120s in order to pay for this shirt that I got swindled into owning. Because I tried it on. But, uh, but uh, what do you mean, swindled? Yeah, it was. Yeah, look, I just need to. I need to find a pack of cigarettes so I can pay the shirt. Yeah, they're right. It's the red right over here. It's not far. Great. Let's 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 get that settled first. <laughs> it's okay, right. I'll go. I'll go get the. You said Barbara. No, you want some witch light. Everybody. When I worked here, everybody smoked witch light 120s. Don't ask me why. It's like it's a witch light thing. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what he wants. Yeah, yeah. Get two packs, and I, I want one and the story of that when you get back. Oh, uh, it's not special. It's just they're so bad that people won't take them unless they're dirty carny. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll get two packs. Hey, when we get back, you better be thinking, I'm getting a fucking tattoo while I'm here. What? Yeah. Getting a tattoo at the Witchlight Carnival. Is that sanitary? No, but it'll be awesome. I was in a person's asshole. <laughs> Everything sanitary. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, hey, hey, Wait is having a bad night. I think you should let him pick the tattoo that you're going to get. Yes. I think we should probably all get tattoos. No. Yeah. No. Yo, yeah. It's very hard to tattoo scales. It doesn't stick the same way. 
Yeah, but the underside is a little softer, isn't it? It's the sensitive part. I don't like that. I'm not I'll talking about here. I'm talking about here. Yes. Josiah, quit being a bitch. I'm talking about you. You're getting a tattoo. Quit trying to yeah. push it off on Gitsy. She can get one if no. she wants. All right. right. Well, I'm, I'm in. I mean, let's let's yeah. get some egg. Well, that's why I said start thinking about what first? you're gonna get. I think we're talking about all of us. All right. Cool. Let's go. Give me them smokes. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Wait. What are you getting? A pack of cigarettes. Now let's go. The tattoo. What is it that you're getting? What? You're asking me, or are you asking the guy who just walked away? You too. You're going to get. I assume you'll have to shave for it, right? I got a spot right here. Jared right. seems very clear, right? Oh. See, we got this tattoo that well just happened. Yes. I'm gonna put something on this side to go along with it. Remember those blue eyes, those teal blue eyes? Yes. I'm gonna get those teal blue eyes right here with the cracking tentacles around it. You want to remember that? Why wouldn't you not? It's kind of unnerving. We survived. But it's a memory of us carrying on. I suppose so. That could work. I wonder what Jen Red will get. No, but I'm kind of interested. We'll see when he gets back. All right. Wait, are you getting one too? I, I went with, with him to get cigarettes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aloon? I say, hey, I'm, I'm not getting a tattoo. You're not? No, I would, why would I ruin uh, something so perfect? Because <laughs> you're not perfect, dude. Come on. Yes, no, no, no. I will be finding a... I will be winning stuffed animals. <laughs> uh, are you now? Is that even... What are you going to do with said stuffed animals? Wait, don't, don't worry about that. I have a need for uh, exactly three stuffed animals. <laughs> You know, Gitsy, it's one of those times where I don't even want to know what he wants to do with those. And I don't think any of us could possibly come up with an answer that would be correct. Or, or what we want to hear. Are, are you going to give them away to children? Uh, don't, don't, that's, that's none of your business. Don't worry about it. Or just truly honest. Do you need help cap getting them, I guess? Is, uh, well, yes, if you want to help, we, yes, I just need them. So if you want to help, you can come. I will help you. I've not done any of the carnival games. It should be rather easy, right? Maybe. <laughs> I assumed some of you had been here before, but apparently the games are a mystery. Just don't let the uh, the goblin load your uh, crossbow, if you know what I mean. I don't, but I think I... <laughs> I don't know what that means. Nothing will be going on my crossbow. <laughs> Got it. Coming back from the stand with the two packs of Witchlight 120 menthols. Headed over towards that stand. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You fucking you as Girth Dusk Punch. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Oh no, I am anyone Wait, does he need to roll an inside to see you? You fucking rat bastard. I searched this entire fucking city for you. They threw me out of the fucking guard. Looking for your ass. Showed up at the carnival. I mean, isn't this where everybody in Baldur's Gate goes? I just met you, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, those cigarettes are coming from him. Fuck him. I'm a fucking witchlight mage hand now. No deal. What are you? No fucking deal. Are you going back on the deal you forced me into? No. You don't have any money to pay for him. You told me. Yeah, so I got a pack of cigarettes for you. That's what you requested. You said, just get me a pack of Witchlight 120s. And I did. From you? 
Yeah, from me. He's the one I handing convinced. me the cigarettes. Hell no, I ain't taking them. I convinced him to get the cigarettes. No. I'm keeping this we, deal. Are we gonna have a problem? <clears throat> I've had a really bad couple of days. You got a problem. You got a debt with me now. And fuck your friends. I'm a fucking carny now. Yeah. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. Does it fucking look like that? As he's wearing a too tight shirt as well. Probably one of the mediums that was left over in which light, which white blue. <laughs> yeah, this is my life now. Yeah, you know, whatever. You crawled out of some dude's asshole. Well, I live in it now every day. He lights his cigarette up. <laughs> You're either going to take the deal, man, or let me finish this once and for all. Well, here's the thing. You said, here's the deal. This is all I want. I got said thing for you, and now you're backtracking on said deal. It's not very good business practice, is it? This ain't business. This is the fucking fay. So then what's your secondary deal? <laughs> I haven't decided yet. The open-ended contract. <laughs> he knows. <sighs> Wait, He's... hold on. Right. So what if the other end of this contract party is no longer alive? Is that still a debt that's owed? Hey. I don't care what comes out of your mouth. You owe me, and I get to decide the terms. That's it. Period. Well, then hurry the fuck up and tell me what you want. I can decide whenever I want. <laughs> Ask your buddy. That's it's a fey bargain. It's we're not technically that in Baldur's I Gate never anymore. I agreed to. I, it's I tried the, on a shirt. Wait, and he said, wait, wait. It's just, your shirt. Just you're you're getting around this all the wrong way. This is why I don't come to the carnival. That's, I understand. I'm asking you again, Jen. If he's dead, does this debt still owed? Yes and no. Why is everything so fucking complicated? It's, it's welcome to life, Waith. <sighs> Hold on. You want something, big guy? Something you can't have? Like a bigger shirt? <laughs> yeah, see? When the same spot as he scratches his belly button. What about a free punch? You want to be angry about something? You want to punch me? No, I don't give a shit about you. Yeah. And I do want to slap that grin off your face. Well, I don't know about no. One in for the bet. I'm going to roll a persuasion check. I'm going to set the DC 17. Boom. <laughs> Oh, let's go right there let's go all right all right cigarettes and i slap that stupid fucking smile off your face now he wants the cigarettes ah uh, yeah i can do that just give me a second as i uh Crack my neck. Uh, stretch a little bit. And I walk off to the side. Hey, uh, Loon. 
Uh, yes. You want to kick the shit out of somebody? Uh, also, yes. Tap him on the shoulder and I cast Disguise Self. Uh, Girth Dust Punch wants to uh, slap the shit out of me. Oh, you is Girth is here? All you gotta do just take this, just take the slap, and it'll drop the disguise, and then you're free to whip his ass. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta take one slap. He won't even hit you. He'll miss. It'll hit the disguise. It's well, uh, you know, I did that. Yeah, well, why not? As I open up the package of Witchlight 120s and I light it up <laughs> with a finger snap, <laughs> pass one over to Josiah. Is he? Mm. Bad habit. Mm -mm. Yeah, don't start. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I already have a hard enough time breathing, so. No, I'll take one. <laughs> Hands one over, and I just stand by the side as a loon. You approach in disguise of me, standing in front of Girth Dust Punch, seeing him for the first time now in what is like months. <laughs> hey. Last Dude. time we saw you was on the side of the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> you were, uh, <clears throat> you, uh, sorry, you, you are fatter than you were. As he tries to imitate Jen. <laughs> Give me a performance check, please. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god! Oh my god. Yes. yes! Yes! This couldn't be wow. any better! It's just... <laughs> I don't know, man. You're, you got fatter than you were. What do you want me to say? If it wasn't for you and your bullshit group, I would have lost my fucking job, man! Now I'm stuck over here in the fucking Fay. I don't even get to run security. I gotta run this shit ass fucking stand. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I used to kiss cranes or whatever, but now, you know, look at look, everyone's got a hard life. We're all sitting back and watching this. <sighs> I enjoy every bit of this. Maybe I'm gonna get a little bit more than my deal. Fuck you, hippie as he goes to spit and spit at the same time, he's trying to hit you with just a wet fist. Can, can I can I deflect missile a spit? It's going in the same time. Like he's trying to hit okay. you at the same time. All right. And it just goes and auto misses. <laughs> and your disguise drops. The scene is yours. It's a, oh well, this um, uh, this this is, this is awkward. As he just rears back and punches him with his mouth. No, I ain't a green a wolf boy. Ah! <laughs> and she just hear. And you just see this, the stand just rocking. Yeah, I just I just rear back. Don't even like before he's as he screams. Just say uh, this is uh, well, this is awkward and just hit him right in the face <laughs> with the metal claw, just full metal claw to the face. <laughs> Leaving Girth Dust Punch buried under his own shitty merch back by the stand. I walk I walk over to Girth as he's as he's like on the ground, just like messed up and I just kind of kneel down smoking that cigarette and take a big drag and just blow it right into his face so uh, are we good now? I'm good I'm good and that's what I thought and uh, I will with his t too tight of shirt and it's like raised up and he's got his belly out I put the cigarette out on his belly oh. and, I, and I tap his stomach that's what I thought and I walk away does it <laughs> Does his stand have stuffed animals? Oh yeah, it's got. It's, 
three of them. <laughs> I, I, I grab I grab a couple and just uh, I also will like pat him on the head. Is a good talk. <laughs> and walk away with the stuffed animals. Uh, we've discovered our own Biff Tannen. Get back to the group. I appreciate that. It's a no, no problem. I also, uh, while I was over there, I, he hands you a shirt that he picked up in the stands. <laughs> it's a limited edition. Oh, thanks. I... It was just, it was just on the ground. No one was using it. <laughs> appreciate it. With darkness settling back into the carnival. Finding a, a small booth to snag our tattoos in right over here. Jinrid getting his robe off, laid over. This is back out. I see, I got an idea. I want this astral looking phoenix right i want a constellation here josiah here's the uh here's the book here's what i want put it in uh put it in sylvan that'll look good that'll look good half orc is sitting there with his needle running go to boss And he sends you the first two lines to read off Josiah. That's over in your discord. No regrets, got it. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> Simple, clean. All right. Describe it like this. I will go wherever. No matter how far. Nothing lasts forever. Not even the stars. Before like he's this. able to read off the rest. Back inside the Fey. Now I have a good surprise for you. Go. What is it? Follow me. is the season my friend as you Vera and Chikios begin to make your way into a small harvest moon festival decorated up inside the fey small fairy lights strung about folks getting beverages a large scale social scene that you haven't seen inside the Fae. It's been much more of a solitary journey in between. It's time for you to meet the rest of the summer court. As you begin to walk into that promenade, and it's just a lined out massive pumpkin patch. And it's those little comforts of civilization that you haven't seen in so long. There are 
Eldrin Fey Elves as far as the eye can see. This will be a night to remember. You meet tons of people in the Fey. You've been here long enough. They'll no longer smell, you know, the material plane on you. They can be petty like that. I can practice my Sylvan. You can practice your Sylvan. And it's beautiful. It's this is great. Standing next to st- the front stand, getting our pick of mold wine, pumpkin flavored cocktails like five or six to choose from at the front. And it's a moment to cherish. A big smile on your face as he hands you your first drink. You can feel tremendous heat. And as you turn to look to that side, you see the biggest fireball that you've seen since the ones that you cast as they crash down into stands, explosions, just splinters and wood. As this serene scene turns into a nightmare, small fiends swirling around pumpkins begin to emerge, screams left and right. As it's a pure scene of chaos, No, no, this is not... This can't be happening. Not here. How did they get here? How did they know that we are here? Seeing fiends all over the place. And what was supposed to be such... A happy moment for a change. Quickly changes. Chikios going in to just full on triage mode, trying to help as many people as he can. While these rain in, you focus across at what looks like one in particular large goblin. Or no, I'm sorry, not goblin, but fiend that traces out a knife (laughs) as they're picking up these pumpkins wearing them as twisted helmets and you can see them corrupting this entire patch as vines begin to sprout up and out (laughs) and it traces and it cuts a circle Looking across at this, Chikios looks towards you. I will take care of the wounded. You go, you find them, see where it is going. You're strong enough now. Follow them. I'll do what I can. Keep them safe. As these things start pouring through this fiery circle. Drink chucked to the side. You running as these things begin pouring through the portal. (laughs) Left and right. Jumping through. Your eyes go dark. And 
then we're back at the carnival. Josiah reading the last two lines. Before you can get out to the third, you begin to feel oh, strong heat. As you see that big top begin to catch on fire. But you keep reading because you want to make sure his tattoo is fine. Gonna do, do one of these to the rest of the crew. And you read those last two lines. Not even the stars. Oh, I didn't send you the other two. My bad. Yeah, that was it. That was all I got. My bad. I thought I sent you all four. And the last two bars. And if I die, I'll not be afraid. I will spread my wings and embrace the day. And as you rattle those lines off, you see a phoenix burst through the side of that big top. And as it circles back around, flying in a curly Q fashion, back through, you see a massive explosion from within the tent. People cheering, fireworks going off, and these fiends wearing pumpkins over across their head, walking out of this portal. And Josiah, you're the first one to see as your eyes glimpse and you see Josiah and Vera, I'm sorry, you see Asher and Vera walk out of that portal from the Fae onto the material plane for the first time since you saw him annihilated by his own sphere. And that is where we will pick back up next week in the battle for Witchlight. Adam, it is your choice to play Asher full time if you so choose. <laughs> I got goosebumps. I've got chills and goosebumps. You remember when I said portal on Tuesday? Yes. You thought it was y'all's portal. That was your portal. Whoa. Let's go. I don't know what to say. Okay. It's a lot of the process. <laughs> <laughs> He's stunned into silence. Well, you know, you did go from a man's ass crack to having your favorite character back. So I can understand. <laughs> You've been through a bit. The Fae, man. The Fae. Oh, my God. Back. There was a legitimate chance for you to come back how we built it in. So why not? It's a great story. You will look the same as you did before on the material plane, but you are 10 years wiser. And this is the gateway back. One of the many portals that's there. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Now you know the nod to Dirac and the Phoenix and your second chance. Heavy. Dang, man. I, I don't know, Chad. What should I do? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> Obviously. You. And if you do, Waith will still be there and someone that's interconnected within the campaign that you get to play. Whenever we encounter, but that's your choice and your choice to have. But yes, that's right. For the Witchlight cast, we have <laughs> interdimensional shitheads pouring out from the front of the fucking tent right now as well. That's, that's great. <laughs> awesome. Love it. <laughs> Got a Halloween episode. <laughs> that's for sure. That is for sure. I just don't know if I can stand this right now. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> the show just ended. <laughs> Pretty dope. But guys, we must end there. We'll see y'all next week. Simmer on that for a minute. Much love.